now. Who is that? I have no idea. Please, someone explain. The first day of school gone wrong. Moments later. So, uh, who are you again? I'm Mackenzie, your favorite student, top of the school, destined for greatness and success. How do you not remember me? You've been over to my house, and I've been coming here since I've been old enough to. Yeah, I am sorry. There is just no record of you going here, and no one even knows who you are. I've talked to a lot of students and teachers, and not one person knows you. Super weird, if you ask me. Well, wh what about my best friend, Sky? Sky? Uh, let me take a look at that. Huh, interesting. Uh, no record of her either. What? That doesn't even make sense. Call her name on the school intercom. She'll come in here, and she'll be able to explain everything. Huh, all right. Ahem, <clears throat> uh, Sky, can Sky please report to the principal's office? You're not in trouble. I just need your help. Meanwhile, who is that? Do any of you have a student named Sky? Huh, I don't recall a Sky either. Sounds like a pretty cool name, but nope, never heard of a Sky before. Uh, the principal must be confused again. That's no surprise. A few moments later. Well, it doesn't look like there is a Sky that attends this school, just as I suspected. Okay, this must be like a bad dream. I can assure you it's not. That's what someone would say if they were in a bad dream. Please, Mackenzie, wake up, wake up, wake up. This isn't real. Mackenzie, this is real. Really? Yes. Oh, no. It's okay, because you can still attend here. I'll just sign you up for classes, and that will be that. Right, so I have to start over? Yes, a fresh start. That is a great way to look at it. You know what? You're right. It's a fresh start. Maybe things will be better this time. I'm sure they will be. Moments later. Oh, no, and Sky's not here. Even worse. Wait a second. No one remembers me, so they won't even know who I am. <laughs> look at this little dweeb. Who even is she? Are you new to the school, dweeb? No, um, I mean, yes, 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 I am. I'm gonna give you a warning. Watch yourself, because I run this school, and I don't tolerate dweebs. Oh, boy. Come on, Ayla, let's get out of here. How come no one remembers me? This doesn't even make sense. Ahem, <clears throat> excuse me, this place is for Brookhaven High students only. Y you don't remember me? No, I have no idea who you are. You need to leave. This is sickening to me. No one, absolutely no one. I feel like I must be going insane. This doesn't even make sense. Meanwhile... <laughs> Meanwhile... Oh, hey, Mackenzie's mom. Oh, how's it going? It is so good. Please give this to Kenzie. It's like a coupon booklet for the arcade. Oh, she is going to be thrilled that you gave this to her. She deserves it. If it wasn't for her, the arcade wouldn't be doing as good as it does. She always brings in so many customers, so that's my thank you. Well, thank you. I'll make sure to give this to her. One hour later. So you guys have, like, no idea who I am? Not a clue. Not even you, Josh? Wait, how'd you know my name? Because we're, uh, never mind. I'm sorry, but, uh, are we supposed to know who you are? Josh, bro, this girl's really creeping me out. We should maybe go somewhere else. I mean, she's kind of cute, though. Wait, you really think that? Yeah, but you're, like, way too crazy to date. It's your first day in this school, and you're acting so crazy. It's giving pick me vibes but i'm not acting crazy <laughs> that's rich lol noah josh stop chatting with the new crazy girl and get back to practice oh thank goodness we can finally leave this conversation hey it's not our fault she's just like super crazy and was making us talk to her boys i don't care oh man this is gonna be my life from now on this is a sticky situation and not a good sticky like a gross sticky hey Girl, get out of my class. Sorry. A few moments later. I hear you're making quite a name for yourself. Uh, what do you mean? That you're being all crazy and acting super weird. You're kind of a school nut. Not a good reputation to have. Whatever. Don't whatever me, you little brat. Yeah, we know where you live, Mackenzie. And don't think we won't continue to bully you for the rest of high school. We ain't gonna stop now. How do you know where I live? It seems like both of you remember who I am. That is super Super crazy talk. Shut the heck up, Ayla. So, how do you know where I live? Well, you looked at your school info, idiot. It's 
not that hard to find out. And for your information, we have no idea who you are. You're just some crazy new girl at our school. Well, I know one thing. I didn't want to spend time with you when you knew me. And I certainly don't want to spend time with you now that you don't know me. So, I'm out. Have fun being crazy! Shut up, Ayla. You need to let me do the talking, not you. Moments later. <sighs> Maybe I should just get homeschooled so I don't have to deal with this. I mean, no one remembers who I am. I might as well just move cities and start fresh. Mackenzie! George, you remember me? Oh, uh, what a weird thing to say. Well, no one remembers who I am at this stupid school, but what are you doing here? Sky's mom is super worried because she thinks Sky is missing and we're here to talk to the principal. Well, good luck with that. They don't even remember who me and Sky are. Not to mention, I haven't even seen Sky all day. Wait, did you just say that Sky was missing? Yes, that's why I'm here. Oh my gosh, could this take it any worse? Hopefully not. And you stay in this school and don't go looking for her. That's my job. Okay, I won't. I promise. Okay, good. Five minutes later. George, what a pleasure to see you. What brings you in today? This is Principal Lady, ma'am. Sky is missing. Have you seen her at all? Just checking in here since it's the first day of school and Sky's not one to miss school. Her mom seems extremely worried. Sky, we already had a new student bring her up, and between you and I, she seems super crazy. What's the student's name? She could be a suspect. Her name is Mackenzie. She came in acting like we were all supposed to know who she was. And when we didn't, she she wanted me to call her imaginary friend Sky to the office to vouch for her, but that girl doesn't exist. Interesting, very interesting. Well, I better be off. Sorry, I wasn't of much help. Meanwhile. Okay, we've got to start cleaning up our tracks. This is not good. George is involved now, and he seems sus about the whole situation. What are you two doing out here? Were you eavesdropping? Uh -oh. No, uh, we would never. We just wanted to see the principal because we love her so much. Yeah, what Ashley said. Yeah, those two are my favorite students. Weird, I always thought Mackenzie and Skye were. Again, I'm not sure who those two are. Well, except for Mackenzie now. But it's her first day, so I can't really know her just yet. But I do think she is off to a great start. Yeah, 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 whatever you say. Something weird is going on here, and I don't like it. Well, I'm always an open book, so don't hesitate to call if you ever have any questions. Later that same evening. Oh, Mackenzie, I'm sure you've heard about Sky. I just heard. It makes sense why she wasn't responding to me all day. But today has been the weirdest day ever. I can agree with that. No, but I mean like really weird. No one at school knows who I am or who Sky is. It's like we've been completely erased from everyone's memory. It's kind of messed up. That makes more sense because when I phoned that stupid prince she had no idea who Sky was, so I sent George to go and talk to her. I don't know where to look, but it definitely has something to do with no one at school knowing us. I agree. Something weird is going on. Meanwhile... Billy? Yes? Have you seen anything suspicious lately? Well, now that you mention it, I did see Sky being carried into a car, and then they drove it to, like, this big mansion that's abandoned, and you didn't care to phone me or the police? I thought she was just playing some games. Right? answer, Billy. You really think that, sir? That's the nicest thing anyone has ever said to me. No, I was being sarcastic. Well, at least I told you where they went. However long after. Well, I just didn't think anything of it, okay? Alright, fair enough. Meanwhile... Oh, where the heck is George? He is just so stupid sometimes. Five minutes later... Well, this looks like it's the one. Interesting. The door's unlocked. I guess I'm being invited in. Hello? Hello? Well, this is awkward. He must have his information all mixed up. Ugh, how could we have waited all of this time? Help me! Help me! Wait a second. What was that? Help! This is this guy? Is that you? It's time to clean this mess up. <laughs> Moments later. Great, now George is missing and I can't find any leads. This is awful. George? I've been looking for you everywhere! And, uh, who might you be? What? You've gotta be kidding me! So they got you too? I've gotta tell Sky's mom! A few moments later. <gasps> it's been you all along! I knew it! I don't know what you're talking about. Why, I oughta? You better step back and watch it or I'll erase your memory too! But don't worry, because you won't remember anyways. You will so pay for this! Later, loser! Guys, mom, where where are you? Stranger danger, get out of my house right now! No, this this can't be happening! A few moments later. You devil! I can't believe you're doing this to me! Ah, please! Someone protect me! 
Don't worry, Ashley. I'll protect you. She's faking it. She's lying. Faking what? She erased all your guys' memories about me, and now she's trying to make me seem crazy. Um, that's not true at all. And she kidnapped Sky, and Sky will be able to vouch for me. She'll be able to tell you everything. She'll be able to tell you that I'm real and that I'm not new here. Oh, yeah? But she can't because she kidnapped Sky, and she hid her away from me. It's funny you say that. Why? Because Sky is here today. Yes, I just spoke with her. I thought you said you didn't know who she was. I never said that. Yes, yes, you did. Well, then, why don't we just go and sort this all out? with Sky. Good idea, Ashley. Five minutes later. Girly! You don't know who this is, Sky. Uh, no idea. Sorry. Ha! <laughs> I told you. I give up. I'm late to math class. Uh, bye. Normally, I give students more strikes, but since this is your first day and your first day of school has gone completely wrong is just an understatement, uh, you're gonna be expelled, Mackenzie. You know what? I don't even care anymore. Have fun. Ta-ta. Bye. You made one fatal mistake. You forgot to wipe my mom's memory and the arcade owner's memory. And they have every videotape the security cameras have ever recorded. Someone call George. Not if I wipe your memories first. Hey, my name's Mackenzie. We should be like besties. I don't have any friends here or anything. My name's Sky, and me either. Let's be besties. <laughs> Yay. Can I call you Kenzie? Wow, nicknames already? Are you okay with that? Uh, yeah, always girly. Girly? Oh, do you not like that one? No, I love it. Okay, yay! Whoa, who are those two girls over there? I have no idea. Should we make friends with them? School does start soon, and our first date would be pretty better with the more friends we have. I mean, you know, just in case we get bullies. Good idea, Sky. Come on, let's go. Hey, girlies. We were wondering if we could be friends. Uh, who the heck are you? Shut up, Ayla. Let me handle this. Yeah, sure we can be friends, but I'm the leader, and you have to take my orders. You will be untouched by any bully at school because I'll be the bully, and you'll be my mini. Hey, I thought I was your only minion. Shut up, Ayla. Oh, sorry. Should we do it? I mean, it kind of seems like a bad idea. I think we should. We'd never be bullied, and we'd probably be considered pretty cool. Yeah, I guess. Ahem, I'm not going to wait all day for you two to make up your mind. Yeah, we'll be your minions. Yeah. Splendid. Moments later. Uh, is she talking to Josh? Yeah, she is. Who's Josh? It's my crush. Ah! <laughs> You're just so funny. And you are literally so cool. Mackenzie, uh, what are you doing? Hold on a second, Josh. Uh, I'm busy. Give me a second, guys. Sorry about that. She can be a little much sometimes. Yeah, I totally get that vibe. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I'll see you later, Mackenzie. Bye. Oh, he is so amazing. I think he has a crush on me. Ah! That is who my crush is. Ugh, you are so finished on your first day of school. I'm coming for your neck, Mackenzie. Please, please, don't hurt me! But I didn't do anything, and he likes me. I don't care. I have dibs, and it is going down for you. I can promise you that. Come on, Ayla. Let's go. Coming, Ashley! Getting bullied on my first day of school? Great. This is going to be awesome. Much, much, much later. Two weeks went by so fast. Ugh. Mackenzie, what? You've got your first day of school, silly. It's time to get a move on, bucko. Uh, can I transfer schools, maybe? Transfer schools? What do you mean? It's only school. Well, what about homeschool? You don't have the time for that. I work a full-time job. Now, get out of the bed. Mom, I'm scared. Would you like me and your father to walk you to school? No, nothing's going good. Oh, I'm so finished. Everything is going to be just fine. Trust me. Now, you better be downstairs in five minutes. Oh, boy. Meanwhile. Hey, John. Hi, Ashley. You're so cool and so handsome. Oh, uh, thanks, I guess. No problem, beautiful. So, what do you think of me? Yeah, you're super rad. Anything else? Uh, I don't know. So, you want to hang out after school today? I think I'm pretty busy. Maybe another day. But I got to get to homeroom, so I'll see you later. Bye. Ugh, what the heck is going on? Does he hate me? He must. Or he must just be stupid because I'm the bomb. A few moments later. Uh, I've got no idea where to go. Hey there, you must be new here. It's my first day. Well, you need to report to your homeroom then. Where's that? I'll show you. It's right down here. Now, come on, follow me. Wait up. So, are you excited for your first day? Uh, yes and no. Why is that? It's amazing here. You're just a little nervous, I guess. That's everyone's first day. Don't you worry. Well, here is your homeroom. Okay. Uh, thanks. Oh, this is perfect. In my home room. Looks like I'll have 
so much time to ruin your life. Oh, God. Ta-ta for now. Oh, she's the worst. Uh, I think I'm gonna go sit over here, actually. Oh, no. Well, looks like you're all alone now. Easy pickings, loner. Yeah, you are so getting it. No one's gonna like you at the school. I'm gonna make sure you're the biggest loser here. How? Oh, I don't know. Starting rumors, stealing your lunch money, causing you pain, calling you ugly, which you actually are, and you're probably really stupid. <gasps> Wait a second. I want your lunch money since I'm already here, so give it up. Yeah, give her the lunch money. Oh, uh, hello, Sky Bestie. I can use some help over here. You stay there and be quiet. I'm quaking in my boots. Leave me out of this. Oh, thanks for having my back, I guess. Looks like you're all alone. Money, now. All right, fine. Good. Are we even now? <laughs> even? No, we're never even. So buckle up because you are going on a ride of a lifetime. A bad one, though, with, like, no chance of happiness. Yes, yeah, sister, your high school life is done for. That's what happens when you mess with Ashley. Shut up. Up, Ayla. Moments later. Ugh, this is so awful. Why is she trying to ruin my life? Why is she trying to mind my own business? And it's all Skye's fault that I met her. And now Skye and I are not even friends anymore. Ugh, she's the worst. Hey, Ashley, look who it is. Hey, Kenzie, you ready for some more bullying? No. Well, that's too bad because the fun has already started. Not if I have anything to say about it. Ah! Ooh, okay, I think I got away. Um, no, you didn't. You literally just ran in a circle right back to us. Nice try. Hello, dweeb. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Five minutes later. <gasps> Josh! Oh, Kenzie! Hey, how's it going? It's going. How about you? How's your first day? Uh, it's all right. Just all right? Yeah. Well, you gotta spend more time with me then. Do I? Yeah, then you'd be having way more fun that way. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, definitely. Well, then I better start spending some more time with you. How about after school today? Definitely. Cool. Well, I guess I'll see you around. Bye. Wow, why is he so amazing? A few moments later. <laughs> What's so funny? Nothing. You're just a loser, dweeb. Hey, teacher. Not now, Mackenzie. I'm busy. Great. No one can help you. You're a loser. And you're going to get what you deserve for messing with Ashley. I didn't even do anything. You've been talking to Josh, and he is off limits. No, he's not. He doesn't even notice her. <clears throat> Hello, students of Brookhaven. I have got some exciting and revealing news about someone at the school. Mackenzie Turner. Hey, girl. What secret should I start with first? Hmm, I'm thinking about the one where she still keys her bed. Ew, that is so gross. <laughs> hey, that is not true. Teacher, teacher, you have to stop this. Mackenzie, sit down and stop disrupting the class. But this is insane. I would be so embarrassed if I was you. But it's not true. Yes, it is. Why else would she say it? Because she wants to ruin my life and she's bullying me? Mackenzie, please stop having outbursts in class. If you don't stop, I'll have no choice but to kick you out. Can no one see what's going on right now? Mackenzie, out! Later that same evening. Oh my god, look, there he is. Go talk with him, girl. He will love you. You are so right. Josh! Hey, you! Um, I'm busy right now. No, you're not. You're talking to me. What you said was not true. Stop spreading rumors. Oh my god, I can't believe I just did that. Huh, I feel so relieved right now. I can't believe you're spreading rumors, Ashley. That is so not rad. It's actually kind of cringe. I'm so out of here. Look at what you did. Oh, you are so dead. You literally just ruined my chances with him. Uh-oh. Oh, just wait until lunchtime. I've got something special planned for you. Mark my words, honey. Well, what are you gonna do that you already haven't done? Oh, you'll see. Lunchtime. Oh my gosh, I hate my life. Honestly, I've never seen her mad like that. I would run and never come back if I was you. This is gonna be good. Oh god. A few moments later. Mackenzie, what are you doing in here? This needs to stop, like right now. What? you rambling about? Settle down, settle down. She's trying to ruin my life. Who is? Who do you think? Well, I really don't know. The monster of the school. Which would be who? You just gotta tell me who and I can help you. Ashley, she's destroying my life and it's only been one day. Oh, yeah. I don't know if there's much I can do about that. What? How? Wait, why not? She's the worst. Because I'm more scared of her than you are. She's crazy. I could lose my job if I mess with her. But 
why? Well, because she's the big bad bully of Brookhaven, and you don't want to mess with her or else you're messing with her parents, and that is not a good thing. I want to live to principle another day. I'm sorry, but you're on your own for this one. Great. I'm going to have to stand up to her all by myself? Is that what you're saying? Um, no. That's a horrible idea. You cannot do that. You just have to live with it. If you fight it, it'll just be a million times worse. Now, get out of here. Before she sees you in here, it makes it worse off for the both of us. Oh my god, this is literally insane. What are you waiting for? Now leave! Looks like I'm all on my own. Great. This is so great. Ahem. Only a few more minutes until lunch, Mackenzie, and you'll be all mine. <laughs> Looks like I'm really gonna have to hide in the washroom. This is amazing. Moments later. This is so terrible. Just here, minding my own business. Look who it is. Sitting next to her? What kind of question is that? But I didn't do anything. Oh, but you did. What do you mean? Exactly what she said, stupid. But I, I, I didn't do anything wrong. Well, Mackenzie is nowhere to be found. And you're the last person to be friends with her. So you're getting it until I find her. Please, no, I'll do anything. Bye, you don't want to hear about how ugly you are? <laughs> oh, she's going to start crying now. Hey, leave her alone. Oh, looky who it is. Sky, run. Ah! You're not going anywhere, Mackenzie. Anywhere. A few moments later. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. Oh my god, Ashley, Josh is with them. Yeah, I can see that, Ayla. You better leave them alone, Ashley. They're my friends now. I don't care who you think you are. You're nothing but a meanie and a bully. You'll regret this. Mark my words. Yeah, you will. Ashley destroys everyone who messes with her. We don't care. Yeah, we don't care. Now, come on, guys. Let's leave. Ah, no one walks away from me. They run scared, not walk away with confidence. Ah! Five minutes later. Thanks for sticking up for us and saving us, Josh. That's what friends do. And thanks for saving me, girly. Yeah, no problem. I'm really sorry that I ditched you because I was so scared to stand up for you. It's okay. I forgive you, girly. Besties? Besties for sure. Hey, what about me? You can be included, too. Well, that wraps up today's lesson. Remember to read chapters five and six for homework tonight, and I will see you all bright and early tomorrow dressed in pink, of course, because the principal has lost her mind and wants us all looking like tabs of Pepto-Bismol. Hey, I am not complaining. We could do this for the rest of the year, and it would be fine with me. That's enough Pepto-Bismol tab. Wow, what is wrong with you, Sky? Your blood sugar low because you were acting cranky. I'm not cranky, girly. I'm aggravated. It's been like a month, and I still can't wear what I want to school. I think I speak for all redheads when I say we should not be forced to wear pink. I look like a bottle of ketchup and I do not appreciate it. Oh, come on. You look great. And besides, I don't know what the big deal is. It's just a color. Yeah, it's your favorite color so I can see why you might be a little biased. What are you talking about? I'm not biased at all. Oh, really? Who would you think if we suddenly had an all blue school? Well, considering I don't really see that happening, that's kind of a dumb point. But if it were to happen, I'd be down with it. I go with the flow, Sky. I am easy peasy lemon squeezy, so I wouldn't complain. Yeah, yeah, we'll see about that. Hey, Kenji, Sky. Hey, Josh, looking good. Ooh, I just love that color on you. Well, you know, it's not like I have a choice in the matter. It's gonna be pink till kingdom come. All right, well, I'll catch you later. Bye, see you later. All right, ready to go, Sky. Uh, actually, why don't you go ahead, girly? Why? Is something wrong? We always leave together. I know. I just have to uh, run to the bathroom before I go. I don't want to hold you up. Oh, okay. Well, we'll talk when we both get home. We always do. <laughs> Meanwhile. Mrs. Principal Lady Ma'am, can I speak to you for a second? I don't know. Can you? That's why the proper way to ask is may I speak to you. Oh, uh, oopsies. Well, um, may I? Yes, sure. How can I help you? Well, I just wanted to bring something to your attention. Oh, boy. That usually isn't good. What's going on? Well, for a while now, everyone's been wearing pink and I know that was a very big deal to you and we even got on the news about it but it's been like a month now and you're waiting for everything to go back to normal is that what you're saying well not exactly we've done the pink thing for a bit and while that was a nice experiment I just can't help but notice how it's not exactly fair to those who aren't a huge fan of pink I'm all for sticking with the color thing but maybe everything can be blue now just to like switch it up huh blue I've never thought about blue before it's a very nice color some might say their favorite color, but that 
is neither here nor there. I have to say, over the past month, I have found myself struggling to find any more pink items I could possibly put in my closet. See? It's time for a change! Well, thank you, Skye. Why don't I think about this, and I will be sure to get back to you. It sounds good! Moments later. Wow, did you really go home and change out of the pink outfit the first moment that you could? You know it, girly, the first very second. If I could have taken the bit off any quicker, I probably would have been taking off a layer of skin with it. Wow, okay, I love you, but even I have to say that's a little bit dramatic. I mean, pink is just a color. Half the school isn't thrilled about having to wear pink, but I don't think anyone is taking it as hard as you are. Well, like I pointed out, I think this opinion comes from the fact that it's your favorite color. You keep saying that, but I swear, if the color was like blue, Blue or something, you would not hear me complaining. Do you promise? Yeah, why? I don't see why this is important. Just humor me, okay? If, say, all this pink fiasco was really blue, you promise you wouldn't be complaining? I really don't get why you keep harping on this. But if it means that much to you, then fine, I promise. You would not get a peep out of me. Okay, then, in that case, do you have anything to eat? Sure, but we only have pink food. Early. I'm just kidding. I just wanted to see the look on your face. And it was very much worth it. Oh my gosh, I am so full. When I asked if you had anything to eat, I didn't think we would eat all the snacks and completely spoil our dinner. Huh, that's odd because I totally did. Wait a second, uh, turn that up. I want to hear it. The news? Since when? Here in Brookhaven, it's a bit about a month since Brookhaven High has fallen into a pink fever and all staff and students have been forced to wear pink. Well, this just in, starting tomorrow, this town has gone smurfy because it's all gonna be an all blue school. <gasps> to those at home who can't believe the news, I have Brookhaven's principal here with me to confirm this breaking story. Over to you, Mrs. Principal Lady Ma'am. Thank you, Laura. Yes, the rumors are true. Starting tomorrow, all students and staff will be required by law to wear blue or else they will face serious consequences like expulsion or worse. And how did you decide to make such a drastic switch from pink to blue? Well, it certainly wasn't because Rockstar has run out of all the pink clothes in my size, but a student brought it to my attention that after thinking pink for such a long period, it was time to try another color and let's just say blue matches my eyes better. Sounds good. Well, I certainly Look forward to this new colorful chapter in Brookhaven history. This is Laura from Brookhaven News signing off. Oh my god. What? Why are you staring daggers at me? And if you keep your face all furrowed like that, it's gonna become permanent, by the way. This was you. You did this. I couldn't understand why you kept asking me about wearing blue and making me promise, but now I do. What? What do you mean? You did this, guy. You totally lied about having to go to the bathroom. And you went to talk to the principal, didn't you? Hold on. I'm not gonna sit here and be accused of something that I didn't do. Did you do it? Well, yes, I did, but I also peed too, so technically I did go to the bathroom. I don't know what the big deal is anyways. You've gone to wear your color every day for the past month, so this is only fair. Okay, true, but that wasn't my doing. The principal decided that all on her own, and I just went along with it because, yeah, I love the color. But to go in there and demand that she make it your favorite color? Whoa, 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 hang on. I didn't demand it. I suggested it, and why are you getting so mad? I'm getting mad because you totally tricked me. I didn't trick you, girly, and there's no need to get upset. It's just a color. Yeah, a color that you insisted to be changed. And it tricked me into promising that I wouldn't complain about it. So what you're saying is you were going to complain. I didn't say that, but at least I would have liked the opportunity to complain before promising to you that I wouldn't. Is it really that big of a deal not to complain about a color that you don't like? Clearly it is, or you wouldn't have made me promise. I still don't get why you're getting that upset. That's just because you don't get it. The next moment. Hey. Hi. What's wrong, girly? You look a little blue. Sky. I'm sorry. That was a cheap shot. Yeah, and not even accurate because I'm not wearing blue. Yeah, you're not. Why are you not? Didn't you hear the principal explosion? Or worse, you're playing with fire, girly. Oh, I know. I've been thinking about it, and I've come to a conclusion. First off, I'm sorry that we fought. Yeah, I'm sorry, too. Probably shouldn't have done that. I was just so tired of wearing pink. I wanted to wear my favorite color for a change, but not the right thing to do to do to the principal behind your back. No, it's okay. I shouldn't have reacted like that. And you're right. We've worn my favorite color every day for a month, and it wouldn't kill me to wear yours. I shouldn't have overreacted. What's fair is fair. Well, 
Well, if that's the case, why aren't you wearing blue? And since when do you wear green? Well, that's the thing that has occurred to me. Since when is our principal in charge of our color scheme? I mean, enough is enough. She shouldn't be threatening us to wear a specific color. This has gone way too far. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I came to that conclusion on my second day of wearing pink. So, uh, what are you gonna do? Well, I'm not gonna wear the color that she told us to. And I'm hoping that enough of us will follow my lead so we can go back to wearing whatever we want to wear. You know what? I'm in. But I'm still gonna wear blue because it's my favorite color, okay? Of course. That's part of what I'm trying to preach. Not telling other people what color to wear. Alrighty then. Let's do this. Moments later. Well, I see that some of us have really taken the new news announcement really seriously. And it looks like some of us have not. Oh, heck no. You freak. You are not wearing the same color as me. What are you gonna do about it, Ashley? Actually, no. Don't answer that because I do not want to know what you're gonna do about that. Anyways, did you two not watch the news last night? Ew, who watches the news? Uh, people who like to stay up to date on things? Never mind. Well, apparently the principal wants us to only wear blue now. But considering you guys aren't even wearing pink, it seems like you don't care what the principal has to say. Which honestly could work for me in this scenario. Of course I don't care what anyone says. Nobody tells me what to do. Me neither! Ashley, she tells me what to do. The point is, we have to put an end to all this color craziness. So, whatever the principal does when she sees us not wearing blue, don't care. I want you all to know that I fully support you, and I'm just wearing blue because I like it, and that's it. Does nobody listen to the words I say anymore? Everyone, turn the office now! Meanwhile... I to get this straight. What part of all students and staff will be required by law to wear blue or else they will face serious consequences like expulsion or worse did you not understand? Because I thought I made myself very clear. Except for you, Sky, You're dismissed. No, I'm staying for support. I just happen to really like blue. Enough is enough. For the past month, everyone at the school has been forced to wear pink. And okay, maybe I was a little selfish and went along with it because pink is my favorite color. But Sky helped let me see that we can't make everyone wear something that I don't want to. And it's totally ruining our school's reputation at Color War. Everyone's pink. I am your principal. I can make you do whatever the heck I want. But that's not being a good principal. You should be wanting to guide us and help us make our own decisions, not dictate us. Yeah! Ayla, I didn't say you could speak. Right. Sorry, Ashley. I know I was the only one who came in and asked for everyone to wear blue, but Mackenzie is right. We want things to go back to the way that they were. That's what makes our school great. All of us being different and our own unique color of the rainbow. Nobody wants to open a crayon box and see all the crayons are wearing the same color. Oh my gosh, we are not crayons, but the losers are right. I'm pretty sure there's a nicer way you could have said that, Ashley. Look, if you don't want to change things back to how they used to be, then we are going to get signatures from all the other teachers at the school, and the townspeople, and Mayor Ronald Stump to prove that you cannot treat us like this. Oh yeah? And what are they going to do about it? Well, for one, maybe just run you out of the school. I'd like to see you try. The next Day. Breaking news here in Brookhaven. The principal of Brookhaven High has now been fired and sentenced to life in prison. The children are now free to wear whatever they want to school. We did it, girly. We really did it. Woohoo! I am so glad to get rid of all those pink clothes now. Psst! Mackenzie! Mackenzie! Josh, what are you doing here? I didn't think you had independent reading this period. I don't. And what are you doing here? You know if the teacher catches you, you're totally dead. She hates it when boys interrupt. Just come with me. It's a surprise. During independent reading? Are you kidding, Josh? The teacher will slaughter me if she finds out. Just trust me, okay? Come on. Moments later. What is going on? What's the emergency? Who said anything about an emergency? This is all about fun. All about fun? Josh, you just dragged me out of silent period. Someone better be dying. Oh, come on. No one is dying. Unless you, if you don't hurry up and catch me. Gosh, wait, stop. Surprise. We're having an impromptu basketball game. And because you're kind of the best basketball player we know, you have to join us. No questions asked. So you're basically skipping class to play basketball? What? Do you have a problem with that? No, not at all. In fact, I'm already in. Toss me the ball. See, I told you guys because he was the best ever. Aw, Josh, stop embarrassing me. You scared me, though. I definitely thought something was wrong. All right, who's going to cover me? You cover her and I'll stay over here. Here. You got it! Students? Oh, uh, hi, Mrs. Principal Lady, ma'am. How are you? Unbelievable. Your teacher told me you left in the middle of independent reading, and when you didn't come back, she sent me to look for you. I thought maybe that you had gone to the bathroom, but this 
is so uncalled for. Playing basketball in the middle of class? No, no, please. Don't get mad at Mackenzie. This is all our fault. This is my idea. She was just reading and I went in and I bothered her. Oh, big surprise that this is all your idea, Josh. Oh, this is always your idea. We were just having a friendly little game. That's all. We didn't mean any harm. Well, I think there is plenty of harm that comes from skipping a class. Come with me right now. To your office? All of us? No, not all of you. Just Mackenzie. <gasps> but why do you want me? Well, how about you come to my office to find out? A few moments later. I'm really sorry for what I did. I just really wanted to play some basketball with them. That's all. Those boys are leading you down a dangerous path. Ugh, sometimes they can be such a distraction. And it only gets worse as they get older. Pretty soon, they're skipping school and knocking over trash cans. That is definitely not something that I would do. You may not believe it now, but I'm a good girl. I only believe what I see. And what I saw was you skipping class to goof off with a bunch of boys. You are headed down a bad road, little missy. And I think the more time away you get from the boys, the better. Well, I mean, Josh can be pretty distracting at times because he's pretty cute. But he's in half of my classes. And so are the other boys. So it's not like I can really get away from them. Sure you can at the all-girls private school. No, no. No, not the all-girls private school. I'll be good. I swear, no more basketball. No more boys. Just whatever you do, don't send me to this school with only girls. Have you ever seen the movie Mean Girls? This will be torture. Well, my mind is already made up. Based on your behavior today, I think some time away from those god-awful distracting boys will do you some good. You'll go to the all-girls school, learn etiquette, and how to be a proper young lady. Are you saying that proper young ladies can't play basketball? Because I'm pretty sure that part of being a girl is knowing that you can do anything that boys can do. My decision is final and you are going to be transferred there. You know, you should be thanking me. You stay here and keep messing around with those boys instead of paying attention to your studies. You could end up as a teen mom. What? How did you get from basketball to that? I'm just saying this will be good for you. Later that night. Please, mom, you can't make me go. You can't do this to me. Honey, I don't want to, but it doesn't seem like I have much of a pull here. The principal already put it into play, signed off on it, and just sent me a letter telling me that it was a done deal. But she's evil mom. She's like an old scarecrow lady. She thinks she still lives in the 1800s where girls can't play sports. Seriously, she makes the principal in Matilda seem cute and cuddly. Well, that may be the case, honey, but I don't get to make that decision. If the principal already transferred you to the school, I guess you're gonna have no choice but to give it a try. Ugh, but this is so unfair. <laughs> Honey, are you expecting someone? No, I don't think so. Josh, what are you doing here? Hey, Mackenzie, I just wanted to come by and apologize. Apologize for what? Well, I heard that you're being transferred to an all-girls private school, and I just wanted to say that I'm sorry. Hey, it's not your fault. We just wanted to have some fun. It's that awful rat lady who's making me transfer. Well, I just wanted you to know that I never would have had you come play with us if I knew this was going to happen. I wouldn't ever do anything that would get you in trouble. I know, Josh. Even if if that true lady doesn't know it, I do. And besides, just because we're going to different schools doesn't mean they can't still hang out. Yeah, and besides, a school with all girls, I mean, that could be kind of fun, right? You and I may have two very different ideas of fun, but we shall see. All right, well, I'm gonna miss you, Mackenzie. I'm gonna miss you too, Josh. The next day. Oh! Wow, we are definitely not in Kansas anymore. Weird, why are those girls staring at me like that? You must be the new student, I presume. Yeah, that's me. My name's Mackenzie. Come to my office at once. This is a nice school. It's big and very quiet. I don't think I've seen any gum stuck to a locker yet, so that's also a plus. That is because gum is forbidden at my school. All my girls know gum is not allowed here. Oh, well, that's good to know because I definitely don't have any in my bag at all. I will also have you know that the little outfit you are wearing is a clear violation of the dress code. I could have you written up just for wearing it. Oh, I'm so sorry. I, I didn't know. You didn't have a dress code at your last school? No, we could pretty much wear whatever we wanted as long as it covered up our belly buttons. Oh, well, that is not the case around here. You are to follow the dress code and wear the proper uniform approved by the school. Since you don't seem to have one, I will provide it for you today. Oh, thank you. Uh, there's no way that the uniform can be pink. Uh, never mind. Pretend I didn't ask that. Ahem, moving on. The rules of the school are quite clear. I expect the same outstanding behavior from all of my girls, and you are no different. Your last principal told me that you had some distractions with boys recently, and that is never allowed here as boys are bared from the campus. I wouldn't call it a distraction. We were playing basketball. Probably not at the best time, but it's not like anyone got hurt. Best 
basketball? Ugh, well, there will be no girls playing basketball in my school. What? Are you saying girls can't play basketball? Because that is so wrong. I mean, girls can do anything that boys can do. Well, you know what else girls should not be able to do? Speak back to their headmasters, do you understand? Yes, ma'am. Moments later. Hey! Is it true that you went to a school with boys? Uh, yeah. Why are you whispering? I don't want the teacher to hear us. We could get in a lot of trouble. Just for talking? We get in trouble for doing anything that isn't seen as acceptable behavior for young ladies, and talking out of place is seen as unacceptable. Yeah, the rule around here is don't speak unless spoken to. So you have to tell us, what's it like going to school with boys? Was it, like, out of control? Yeah, was it awesome? Was one of them your boyfriend? Whoa, 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 slow down. Going to school with boys is no different than going to school with girls. Except they're like boys. It's not like we were all dating or these weird soap operas where we're all arranged to marry each other. Oh, well, that's disappointing. The teachers here make it sound like bad things happen whenever boys are involved. The only bad thing that happened to me is I skipped class to play basketball with some of my friends. <gasps> no way! You play basketball? But Basketball is for boys. We're not allowed to play anything that has balls. What are you talking about? We're girls in the 21st century. We're allowed to do whatever we want. There's no boys' activities or girls' activities. There's just activities that we all like doing. I can play with a basketball just like how a boy can play with dolls. Really? But isn't that like breaking the rules? What rules? That's crazy. There is more to life than wearing a school uniform and sitting on the sidelines when guys play all the sports. We are powerful young women and we need to act like it. I hate to break it to you, but in this school, they don't believe in powerful young women. Woman. So if you say any of that, you'll probably be sent to the headmaster's office. I don't know what everyone is so afraid of. Silence! Ladies, listen up! Okay, now I kind of get what you're all afraid of. Good morning, ladies. How are you all doing this morning? Good morning, Mrs. Teacher Lady, Lady, Lady Mayor. We're, We're good. good. How, How are, are you? you? Good response. But remember to keep your heads up when you're talking to elders so they can hear you and no slouching in your seats. My God. Today, we have a very important lesson in place. We are going to be going over how to cook properly followed by an hour demonstration on sewing. Ooh! Ah! Are they serious? Oh my gosh, we're going to learn how to sew! And tomorrow, this will be followed up with a lesson on cleaning and how to swaddle a baby. I'm sorry, but this is ridiculous. Excuse me? What did you just say? This isn't right. We're girls. That doesn't mean our only purpose in life is to be wives and mothers. Sure, if we want to, then that's great. But if not, then who cares? There is so much more to being a girl than cooking and sewing. We could be president if we want to, or a championship ball player. We need to believe in ourselves more. I'm sorry. Who are you and what are you telling my girls? That's it. Go to the headmaster's office right now. No, I won't go to the headmaster's office. In fact, I'm going to go somewhere else. And everyone, come with me. Don't you go with her. Don't you go with her! Come on, everyone! Come! Come! Moments later. I order you girls not to follow her, and you all disobeyed me. Everyone is going to the headmaster's office. Trust me, this is a good thing, everyone. Come on, everyone, join me. Let's play. But, but we're not allowed. Sure you are. Come on, it's fun. Playing sports is fun. Oh, okay, yeah, maybe she's right. Uh, forget the temptation. I've always wanted to play sports. What on earth is going on here? We're all playing sports. Come join us. I have been headmaster of this school for my entire adult life. Before that, I was a student here, and I never got to do anything fun, so why not? Pass me one of those rackets. What, are you expecting rough weather there, Captain? What, what planet are you on? What planet am I on? You're the one looking all over the place like you're trying to spot a tropical storm. What are you looking for? I always tell you that you can't hide from an Ashley attack. The more nervous you are, the more she'll sense it. I'm not trying to hide from Ashley. I'm trying to see if I can see Josh. Ooh, how is lover boy? Ew, don't call him that. That's gross. And how is he? He doesn't know that I'm alive. That's how he is. Ugh, that sucks. Oh, well, let's go to class. We have a big Spanish test today. Guy, did you not just hear me? I'm looking for Josh. Yeah, I heard you, but Josh isn't going to get you to move up to the next grade. A Spanish test will, though. Hmm, I wonder what Josh's name is in Spanish. Um, I'm pretty sure it's still Josh. But anyways, I'll have plenty of time to study for the test. But I only have so long until he notices another girl. We're in high school. I really think you should be focused on the more important things than Josh. <gasps> How dare you? I'm just saying, you're only in school for a short time. There's going to be a million and one boys throughout your entire life. Ah, yeah, but I only want this one. All right, don't listen to me. I'll be in Spanish. Catch you later. One hour later. Hey, Gangie! There you are! I was looking for you! You were? 
Yeah, I didn't know where you went off to. Aw, that is so sweet. Sky dragged me to Spanish class. Ugh. Yeah, I was supposed to be in that class too. Never showed up. Ooh, that is so bad of you. Yeah, I guess. Hey, what would you think of going off campus for lunch? I could go for some Moe's pizza. Um, are we even allowed to do that? Like, leave campus for lunch, I mean. Sure, yeah, why not? I mean, what's the worst thing that could happen? You want to have lunch with me, don't you? Oh, yeah, I totally want to have lunch with you. I just, uh, don't want to get in trouble. Shh, nobody's gonna get in trouble. Besides, we're not doing anything wrong. We're just gonna go and have some pizza. It's a free country. We can eat pizza when we want. I guess you're right. It is a free country. We can get pizza whenever we want. All right, I'm in. Let's go. A few moments later. Best pizza in town, am I right? You sure are. I mean, I've had it before and it was good, but it tastes even better now for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> That's good to hear. You want to rock around here a little bit? I mean, yeah, sure. How long do we have until lunch period is over and we got to go back to school? Ew, don't worry about that. We're fine. <gasps> oh my gosh, that's our principal. What? Huh? Where? What are you two doing off of school grounds? Uh, I'm so sorry. You must have confused us with someone else. Oh, really, Mackenzie and Josh? I must have confused you with someone else. Um, yes, Mrs. Principal Lady, ma'am. Uh, who's Josh and who's Mackenzie? Certainly not us, that's for sure. We're actually in, uh, college. We're not in high school at all, no. Oh, really? Well, then answer this question for me. Why are you sweating and how do you know that I'm the principal? Uh, I had you when I was in high school. School? Nice try. Now, come on. Let's go. Hey, wait a minute. We're not doing anything wrong. Yeah, yeah. Save it for my office, mister. Oh, no. Since when can anything that starts with pizza end up turning into something that ends so bad? Moments later. I hope you both know how serious this is and how leaving campus at all during school hours is not to be tolerated. If I were you, Josh, I would wipe that smile off of your face. Oh, no, no, no. He's not smiling. We're not smiling, Mrs. Principal Lady. Ma'am, we are taking this very seriously. Well, I hope so because I called your parents and they are on their way in. My parents? No, 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 no. Please don't call my parents. They'll kill me. How can this be happening? How is this real? Your Spanish teacher also called Mackenzie. Apparently, you missed a test today. I didn't do anything wrong. All I did was just leave school during lunchtime. Well, it may have been lunchtime for you, but Mackenzie didn't have lunch for another two periods. And by leaving, and she got a zero on her Spanish test. Zero? That's it. I'm dead. My life is over. Your parents will be here soon. Josh, why don't you step out and let me have a talk with Mackenzie before they get here? Yeah, sure. Fine by me. Ahem. A little advice, woman to woman. You have the rest of your life to worry about boys. For now, how about you worry about your education? Yeah, that sounds good. But when my parents find out, I'm never going to have to worry about anything ever again. Because they're going to ground me at least until I'm 50. Meanwhile... I'm Unbelievable. Do you know what it is like to be at work and get a call to come down to the school because your daughter was caught ditching class? I wasn't ditching class. I just went to go get some pizza with Josh and I thought it was going to be okay. During your test, which now you have failed? I didn't realize that part. Okay, I wasn't thinking. Yeah, you weren't thinking, all right. I can agree with that. And I'll tell you another thing. This Josh seems to be like a bad influence and a big distraction. I saw him in the principal's office smirking like it was funny. Well, this whole thing started off with just a little pizza, so in that case, it is kind of funny. Well, that boy is bad news, and I don't want you anywhere near him. You can't do that. He's my friend, and we go to school together. If you ask me, your focus should be more on school and getting good grades and less on boys convincing you to break the rules. I messed up, okay? I get it. Now, can you just give me my punishment so we can get this over with already? Oh, we need some time to think of a nice, juicy punishment for you, young lady. You make it sound like I'm a criminal. It's pizza. Okay, okay. Before this escalates any further, Mackenzie, why don't you go upstairs while your father and I talk? It was just pizza. If they would have just served pizza in the cafeteria today, then none of this would have happened. Later that same evening. Oh my gosh, I am so bored. I actually wish I was in school. What is happening to me? I'm officially falling apart. Hi, honey. Can we come in? Yeah, sure. I'm ready for it. Okay, what's it gonna be? No phone, no dessert, no sky. Whatever it is, I will accept it without crying. Unless it's no ice cream, then there will be a few tears. No, no, it's not gonna be anything like that. We talked and we decided that punishing you is not the right way to go here. Wait, really? Well, whatever way you're going now, I like it. I fully approve. Yes, this is the way to go. So, I'm gonna go over to Skies now. Uh-uh. 
not so fast. We're not punishing you, but we feel like maybe your actions were a sign. A sign of what? Being bored of the cafeteria food? No, that maybe there are too many distractions at your school now, one of them being boys. No, 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 there are no distractions. I am totally not being distracted by chicos, which is boys in Spanish. See, I am paying attention in Spanish class. Nevertheless, this whole situation kind of got us thinking that maybe it's time for a change. What kind of a change? Your father and I think it would be best for you to change to an all-girls school. An all-girls school? Are you trying to kill me? Mackenzie, relax. This isn't a punishment. Well, it's not a prize. Why would you do this to me? What have I ever done to you? Like we said, this isn't a punishment, honey. This is just because we think being in school with Josh and other boys is a bit of a distraction. And we want you to get the best education possible. Come on, being at an all-girls school won't be that bad. Are you kidding me? It's an all-girls school. Meaning all girls. Do you know what teenage girls are like? They're evil. They're monsters. They're manipulative monsters. They give you a compliment, but they don't really mean the compliment. So now you're stuck in your head all day wondering what is real and what isn't. Did they mean it? Do they not? Are they just trying to mock you? And it's just an endless loop. God forbid you wear the wrong outfit or laugh the wrong way, then you're penalized. Yikes, I am so glad I am not a girl. And being in school with guys and girls gives you a little bit of a buffer from the sharkiness. But without boys, there will be endless sharks. Mom, Dad, I'm gonna die in a sea of sharks. Okay, well, nobody wants that, but at the same time, our decision has already been made. Think about it as a new opportunity. I'm gonna think about it as my last opportunity because those girls are gonna eat me alive. The next day. Here it goes, my very last first day of school. As soon as those girls get a whiff of fresh meat, oh, it is all over for me. Meanwhile. Who's the new girl? No idea where she came from. Good morning, ladies. Before I begin with our lesson today, I wanted to take this time to welcome our new student. Stand up, Mackenzie. Now, Mackenzie, where are you transferring here from? Uh, Brookhaven High. Are there boys at Brookhaven High? Yeah. Wow, what's it like going to school with boys? Do you catch cuties just by walking by them? No, it's not really that bad until parents and principals get involved, that is. Well, I'm sure we all have a lot of questions for Mackenzie, but we can just save them for lunchtime. How about right now, everyone open up your books to page 10. One hour later. Oh, I'm so sorry. I was looking for the girls' locker room. I'll totally get out of here. We're in all girls school. Every locker room is the girls' locker room. Noted. Thanks. Hey, wait. Aren't you the new girl who just transferred here? Yep, that's me, the new transferred girl. So let's just go ahead and get this out of the way. Any stares or whispers or maybe my uniform's not on right? Go ahead, get it over with. Huh? What? What are you talking about? You're gonna tease me, right? I know how this works at an all-girls school. Uh, how what works? We weren't gonna tease you. Yeah, if anything, we were wondering how it works at schools with boys because we've, like, never been to one. Wait, you really weren't gonna haze me? What? Why would you think that? Because you're teenage girls and girls are, well, mean. Jeez, you've been listening to too many boys. Being in an all-girls school is fun. You'll see. Yeah, we literally have no stinky boys here. It's just us and we rule the school. Wow, and none of you have ever gotten in trouble for leaving the campus? Why would we leave the campus when we weren't supposed to? I guess I never thought of it that way. Maybe Josh was a distraction. Yep, that's boys for you. I know all girls' schools get bad raps, but hey, at least here we have each other's backs. Yeah, that's true. Thanks, guys. Maybe this won't be so bad. Later that same evening. Hey, honey, how was your first day? Did it go good or did you need a duck and cover? No, in fact, it actually went really good. Really? Okay, tell me everything. Forget the fact that I need to make dinner. I want to know all the details. Mom, relax. It's kind of weird. I didn't get it at first, but maybe being at an all-girls school is a good thing. I think you were kind of right about the whole distraction thing. Without Josh being there, I was able to focus a lot more. See, that's all I wanted for you. Oh, I am so happy. Thanks for caring about my education, Mom, even when I didn't. And I'm gonna make up that Spanish test. That's what a mom does. There's just one thing I need to do to make this school perfect. And what's that? Get Sky to transfer with me. Time for the greatest announcement in history. History. Hello, students of Brookhaven High. We are undergoing some special changes. Brookhaven is going to be an all pink school moving forward. And no one can say or do anything about it. And if they don't conform with the rules, they're getting out of this school. Meanwhile, Girlie, an all pink school. I went to an all pink school. You've got to be kidding me. This is insane. Why is this happening? This is actually going to be the death of me. All pink, baby. The world is going to be a better place. No, it's really not. 
moments later. Huh? Pig? That must be like a joke. That sounds silly. I don't get it. Me neither. I don't have like any pig. Who even does? Probably no one except for maybe like Mackenzie. Yeah, that is so true, bro. Meanwhile. What the heck is this? A few moments later. Oh, that is so confusing. I don't get it. Like, maybe she was just joking? Meanwhile. Is the uh, principal okay? I don't know. Maybe she's just going through something. Does it really matter? We're not involved in this. Well, I'm going to. I don't want to lose my job. You better not because we go as a pack together. I mean, she can't fire all of us. I doubt she's even talking about us. We're teachers. But yeah, I agree. None of us are going to be wearing pink. The next day. Early? What are you doing? Not wearing pink, that's what. Sky, you're gonna get in so much trouble. You need to listen. Nah, I'm good. Oh, no, 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 please stop being bad. You need to just chill and not be bad. She probably won't even remember doing that yesterday. Just look around. No one else is wearing pink. Well, if everyone embarrasses themselves, would you? Well, no, but can't you see how ironic that is? You're embarrassing yourself by listening. No, I'm not because I always wear pink, so it's natural. Well, duh, but you should have done the Okay, now that's just confusing. Moments later. Clearly, I have to make this announcement again because no one is listening to me. This is unacceptable, and the fact that people are not wearing pink is not following my laws. And if you're not wearing pink, you are definitely a bully and don't support stopping bullying. So, starting tomorrow, if you're not wearing pink, you'll be told to go home and can't come back to school until you do. And for all the sports players, if you don't wear pink, you'll be kicked off the team. And even if you start wearing pink after that you'll still be kicked off meanwhile okay sky you need to not be that crazy this isn't that bad of a rule just wear pink the school is more important and as soon as the school is done for the day you can change uh fine i guess you're right i just don't want to wear pink but you're right school is more important meanwhile isn't that weird isn't what weird the fact that none of you are wearing pink why would that be weird oh no well maybe because you're not in pink this is gonna be an all pink school and none of you are listening to me kind of weird don't you think i think you wearing pink is slightly weird i thought it was just a student thing i didn't think we had to do it that's fair but tomorrow you all better be changed into something pink and i mean it i don't know about that because there is no way that you're gonna catch me wearing pink excuse me i think you heard me all right me playing nice is done and i mean if you guys aren't wearing pink from now on, you will be fired. And you better warn the rest of the teachers. I mean it. Ugh. Okay, why'd you have to go and upset her? Because who cares? Breaking news here in Brookhaven. Brookhaven High has become an all-pink school. And when I say all-pink, it's like no exceptions. You have to be wearing pink. I mean, I kind of vibe with this, and I don't think it's a bad idea. I see the vision let's just say that but anyways let's get on the principal herself to explain to those who don't get it hello everyone now you might think i'm crazy for creating this rule but i'm really not and that's because i want to make my school a safe place for everyone and wearing pink will do that so for all you folks thinking i'm the worst don't fight change and be more understanding when someone has an idea to make a place better i am right and you are all wrong there you have Genius idea from a pioneer in the school system. This is Laura from Brookhaven News signing off. The next day. Curly, you look fab in that pink fit. Pink really looks good on you. But I just feel so innocent and like not myself. I feel ditzy. <gasps> Are you calling me ditzy? No, 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 not at all. That's not what I meant. I'm just saying that when I wear pink, it makes me feel ditzy. All right, fair enough. This is all just so crazy to me. All right, good morning, class. Oh, Awkward. Yeah, why is he not wearing pink? Uh, teacher, why are you not wearing pink? Because I don't want to. Interesting. Very 
very interesting. Meanwhile... Joshua? Hey, that's not my name. What do you think Josh is short for? Uh, nothing? I was going to ask why you're not wearing pink, but that's probably because you're not the smartest cookie in the jar. So go home and don't come back until you're all in pink. No one likes to follow any rules around here. It's sickening. Moments later... I can't wait to see that little dweeb's face. Me too. She's gonna be so angry. Perfect. I'd rather be there anyways. This school sucks. Then leave. Much, much, much later. So the rumors are true. They are in fact. And he said he doesn't care about wearing pink ever. And that it's a stupid rule and pink is the worst color ever. Kenzie, he didn't say that. Shh, who cares? Yeah, I said it. What are you going to do about it? You're fired. Good. I don't want to work here anyways. <gasps> then leave. Oh, and no one likes you, by the way. We all make fun of you at the teacher's night out. I knew you were all going out without me. That's because it's a teacher's night, and you're not a teacher. You're a dweeb. <gasps> I cannot believe that just happened. <laughs> Get back to work! Later that same evening. I never want to leave this place. Everyone's in pink, and no one bullies anyone. Because we're all wearing the same color, and it's perfect. Yeah, except we bully the people who don't wear pink. Kind of messed up. Stop being so negative, Sky. It's giving off bad vibes. I get it. You're in your crazy girl era, but chill. Come on, girly. Let's be positive. Ugh, fine. Breaking news here at Brookhaven. Yesterday, I was talking about how the pink school was a good idea and how amazing and smart it was. But today, we're joined by someone who might think otherwise. Sadly, today, we're joined by the science teacher from Brookhaven High. Or should I say the old? science teacher since he was fired for kind of being a loser in my opinion. Isn't that ironic? The pink was to stop bullying in a way, but here you are bullying me for not following the principal's stupid rules which she just made up because she's a lunatic. But that's not a problem, I guess. Have fun with this mess. I am so out of here. Well, that was super awkward. Uh, anywho, there's nothing we can really do about crazy people like that and there is just a problem when it comes to following the rules for some folks. He's also just a loser who hates people and loves to be dramatic, clearly. And he obviously doesn't want to create a safe place at the school. Anyways, this is Laura from Brookhaven News signing off. Hey, you watch your tone with me, Missy. Is that a threat? Oh, you better believe it is. I'm threatening you. Oh, would you look at that? Now it definitely looks like you're in trouble. Uh-oh, you're coming with me, buddy. Hey, let go of me, or I'll call my lawyer. Yeah, 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 whatever. Well, folks, sorry about that little freak out. He's definitely gonna be put in jail, so don't worry about him causing any more scenes. Meanwhile... Ah, this is actually so amazing. I don't have to get ready, and I look good all the time. I'll never have to go to class, and I can just chill and play mermaids all day in the pool. And if I want to go out and bully some dweebs, too, I can. I don't have to be forced to see them literally all the time. This is so amazing. Yeah, that does sound pretty amazing, Ashley. I wasn't talking to you, Mom. Oh, so you were just talking to yourself? Uh, duh! That's super weird of you, and that sounds like something a dweeb would do. Ugh, whatever, Mom. Jeez, you sound salty. Ugh, she is so ruthless. Ugh, you're doing it again! Meanwhile... Do I have to wear pink, Mom? I really don't like it. No ifs, ands, or buts, Josh. Alright, fine. Moments later... I can't believe we're wearing pink, bro. Yeah, it's like kind of embarrassing. Okay, we've got bigger things to focus on, like winning this year's championship. I guess if you really care that much, then enjoy not being on a team, because the principal said it herself. No pink, no team. I guess it's not that bad. I just don't want the other teams to bug us. And if they do, we'll just get the refs to give them an unsportsmanship follow. Ooh, genius, bro. Later that same evening. Jeez, everyone is so miserable, and no one likes to wear pink, and it's just not okay. But why? Early, it's just not fair to everyone. The principal is forcing them to do things. I mean, I guess. They need to do something. I just don't know what, and it's stressful. <laughs> I feel like we've had so many days of breaking news. Like, it's just been day after day. I need a break. Oh, uh, Laura, we're live. Oopsies, breaking news here in 
Brookhaven. Today, we're joined by one of our brightest students, Mackenzie. Hi, you all know me as the pink girl, and obviously the principal said it was gonna be an all pink school. I freaked out and lost my mind because I totally thought it was gonna be the best thing ever. But everyone should not wear pink and come to school tomorrow. Even though pink is my favorite color, no one should be told what they have to wear to school. It's just not fair. Anyways, thanks for listening. Bye. Okay, well, that was awkward. The next day. Ugh, wearing blue feels so weird right now. You actually rock blue, girly. Do I? 100%. What the heck are you two wearing? None of your business. Ah! Get back here right now and I mean it. Hey, where the heck is your guys' pink? Bro, we aren't wearing pink no more. Yeah, bro, we don't want to mess with your rules. What's that? You know, I kind of miss coming into the school and being a bully. Yeah, me too, actually. Ah! Meanwhile... Oh, you've got to be kidding me, Josh. I am not surprised. What? What's wrong? Why isn't everyone wearing pink? You know, this is the best rated school in Roblox, Ashley. Shut the heck up, Ayla. Who cares about the school? But this is like where all the famous kids go. Yeah, this is where all the nerdy loser twerp little dweebs go. Yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah, of course I'm right. This school sucks. It's like for people nerdier and dweebier than Mackenzie. <laughs> We should start bullying kids from there every Friday. Ooh, good idea, Ashley. Moments later. Hello, everyone. We have some exciting news today. Ooh, I wonder what it is. Probably something stupid and dorky. Everyone at Brookhaven High will be taking a special test. Knew it. Whoa, what's a test for? Special test? Ooh, I do not like the sound of that. Good question, Mackenzie. The test is to discover the smartest student, and the student will win a special prize. No way! Girlie, we gotta study hard and get the best test score. Make sure to prepare. This one test could change the rest of your life. <laughs> Who the heck would care about being the smartest? Like, everyone knows it's all about being the hottest. Well said, Ashley. Really, those two dorks care, though. You can just tell by the way that they're dressed. That just makes you stupid. Yeah, you both Losers, not us. It's so funny how much both of you care. Well, we're gonna get a prize and you're not. Who cares? It's probably a stupid nerd prize anyways. The next day. It's test day, girly. Are you ready or what? I am so nervous right now. I don't think I'm gonna do well. I don't know what to do. I don't want to fail. What's up? Kenzie, I don't know what to do. This test seems so hard. Huh? Test? What test? We got the test today, Josh. Everyone in the school has got to take it. I have no idea what you're talking about. Of course you don't. I wouldn't worry, though. You weren't going to get the best mark anyways. Yeah, I mean, you're definitely not wrong. Meanwhile... I just circled random answers. LOL. <laughs> Me too. Twinsies. Man, that test was so lame. Meanwhile... I definitely got everything wrong. I didn't know a single question. That was insanity. Yeah, well, we skipped that stupid nerd test to play basketball. Yeah, we're league bound, not smart person bound. Exactly my point, bro. Why would we even need school or our brains when we have the skills to make the league? Yeah, I probably should have skipped too. But you suck at sports, Josh. Hey! Meanwhile... Uh Terrible. It was hard. Later that same evening. Mom! Oh, huh? what? Why are you so excited? Well, remember that test I told you about? What test? Remember I told you yesterday? I can't remember. What about it? I did really good. And it was literally the easiest test ever. Everyone else said they did terrible because it was so hard. And the test is to find out who the smartest kid in the school is. Which means I might be the smartest kid in the school. That is so amazing. I am so proud of you, honey. But it's a little awkward because I lied to Skye. What? Why did you do that? Because she did bad, and I didn't want to make her feel bad. Several days later. I think we find out who got the best score today. Ugh, my literal nightmare. I have got some very exciting news. <coughs> Kenzie, I thought you said you did terrible. One can dream, I guess. Mackenzie, you got the best score in the whole school, which means you're the smartest person around. I did it. I did it. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe I'm the smartest person in this school. Hurry, Pop. That is amazing. G good job. Congratulations. 
Congratulations, Mackenzie, on a well-earned test. You've got a perfect score. Holy moly guacamole, I'm literally a genius. Oh, uh, what did I get? Well, you only got five questions wrong. Oh my god, I actually did good? We are so smart, girly. Wait, what's the prize? I want my prize. Yeah, she wants her prize. She earned it. You are going to the best-rated school in Roblox, where the kids are billionaires and super famous and smart people go. What? I'm going there for good? You've been accepted. So if you want, you can. I can't believe this. That is so amazing, girly. This will be an amazing opportunity for you to make a name for yourself. I am so proud of you. Yeah, me too. The next day. We are ecstatic to have you at our school. We could not be more thrilled. I think you'll fit right in your already smarter than most of the students here. Really? You're a bright young star, Mackenzie, with a bright future filled with influence and money. Wow. Your life is about to change forever. Oh, why is that? Because you're about to become part of the elite members of society. This is the best day of my life. Moments later. Hello, everyone. I would love to introduce you to our newest student. Please give a warm welcome to Mackenzie. Please introduce yourself and tell Mackenzie who your parents are. Greetings from the Rich Kid Club. My dad founded TikTok. The name's Hugo, but don't wear it out. And my dad is the famous Ronald Stump. Hey, my name's Claire, and my mom is a famous actress, but I can't tell you who. Uh, don't listen to her. Her mom is not a famous actress. Her mom is just a rich billionaire model. Who likes to act? Doesn't make her an actress. Oh, I can't believe I'm part of this squad now. Hold on to your horses. You haven't been approved yet. You go play nice. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Moments later. Hello, class, and welcome to the school, Mackenzie. I've heard a lot of amazing things about you. Wow, like what? I want to know. It's a secret, I can't say, but with a question like that, you're not living up to your reputation so far. Oh. Anyways, today's lesson is about power and control. How do we gain power? Power over regular citizens and control them? We get power with money and control them with fear. Very good, Ezra. Very good. Three hours later. This is absurd. Where is my ride? She's always too busy for me. Look, it's another little nerd dweeb. And she's so ugly. My goodness, gross. Well, duh, she goes to this school. Hey, I'm not ugly. My mom's a model. Yeah, right. And if she somehow magically was, it doesn't change that you're ugly. <laughs> Later that same evening. How was your first day at school, girly? I miss you so much. School's just not the same without you. I miss you too, girl, but school is so amazing there. I'll introduce you to all my new friends soon. But they all come from super rich and famous parents. That is so bougie, girly. Several days later. Mackenzie Grace Turner. Yes? Come with me. Am I in trouble? Did I do something wrong? Enough questions. A few moments later. Do you like it here? I mean, yeah. Who wouldn't? Excellent. You have passed the test you have been given over the past couple of days. And now it is time for you to be told all the wonderful secrets of this school. But you must promise to never tell a soul. If you do, you will be banished from our society. Whoa, that sounds like crazy stuff. Yeah, I promise. Excellent. Moments. Later. Whoa, whoa, why are we here? To show you this. Pleasure to be acquainted. Ah, what is that? I'm one of many aliens that live in Roblox, controlling the way that things work. You have been trusted to be part of our club and will help assist all aliens in ruling the Roblox universe. Uh, is this some sort of joke? I can promise you this is no joke, and if you wish to disobey orders or tell anyone about us we will make you out to be crazy understood oh boy i will take that as a yes a few moments later hello i've heard you're one of the brightest new students welcome to my lab where every cure known to man can be found here what you have the cure to everything of course we do three hours later this is the base for the aliens high-tech weapons cameras that can see pretty much everything in the the whole world. Sheesh! Breaking news here in Brookhaven. Your host Laura here to deliver the fine citizens their daily dose 
the breaking news. Today, we have two local girls missing. Brookhaven's meanest bully, Ashley, can't say it's a surprise because she's just so mean. And our little minion, Ayla, again, can't say that it's a surprise or that it's that upsetting. Anyways, if you have any info about these two, please feel free to contact the local police. And by local police, I mean George, the policeman, even though he probably won't do anything. Anyways, this is Laura from Brookhaven News. Later that same evening. Sky, Sky, you'll never believe how crazy the school is. I haven't seen you in days. Guess you've been too busy with your new friends. Oh, girly, don't be like that. I have been super busy, but I'm here to fill you in on some crazy stuff. Oh yeah, like what? Like aliens, kind of crazy stuff. Keep going. One eternity later. We need to blow the lid off this, girly. No way, we can't do that. It'll ruin my life. Well, that sucks for you, but the rest of the world needs to know. No, they don't. Stop being jealous of me. Trust me, I'm not. But you need to listen to me. Well, you need to mind your own business. That ain't cool. I don't like that. Well, I can't believe you're doing super shady stuff. If you ask me, that's what's not cool. Sky, it's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. But it's evil and messed up. Oh, whatever. Talk later, Sky. The next day. Everyone, everyone, act cool and act natural george is coming to the school because some girl apparently told george that a bunch of crazy stuff is happening here a few moments later i'm here to inspect the school go right ahead you'll find nothing oh i'm sure we won't traitor george it's in here somewhere i swear oh huh, well uh i can't find anything well george look harder Clearly, I think you've been led astray from this girl. Oh, I'm starting to think that too. George, they're lying. You have to believe me. It's time for us to leave, Sky. No, not until we find something. Sky, if you don't leave with me on your own free will, then I'll have no choice but to arrest you. Ah, fine. Moments later. Did you tell your best friend? I'm so sorry. I did. I broke the rules. I don't deserve to be here. Just know that I told her just because I thought it was cool. I thought I could trust her. She's my bestie. I'm so sorry. Ha 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 It's totally okay. Everyone literally does the same thing after they're told about everything. You know, they tell their best friend and then their best friend can't handle the truth and tries to ruin everything. But don't worry. It's fine because no one will ever believe them. Plus, then we go and erase their memory just like we'll erase her memory. Will she remember me? Nope. She'll forget everything. But that would be so sad. I love her. She's my bestie. Well, you have to choose what you want in life. So, what do you choose? Several days later. Huh? Where am I? Who am I? What is going on, Mr. Dr. Man, sir? I'm not sure, but it seems to be that her entire memory has been completely erased. That is absolutely, positively, insanely, ridiculously messed up in every single way and makes literally no sense. This place used to be so amazing, girly. It was like the best place ever. Now I just feel like it's so run down and terrible and the teachers are just the worst. Girly, what the heck do you even mean? This place never was amazing. I think we were just young and naive. This place has always been an absolute butthole filled with little poop heads. I think so? What about our first day? Don't you remember it being so amazing and magical? Girly, you need to stop acting so silly. Of course so. And our first day was messed up. Do you need a refresher or something? I mean... Maybe. Uh, all right, get ready to have some trauma unlocked from this flashback. I can't believe we're finally in a high school. We're big kids now. Right? This is so amazing. It's actually the best thing ever. Yeah, I totally agree. Let's go. Someone, please help. Someone call the ambulance. She's not breathing. Huh? What? What's going on? I'm not sure. This looks super scary. Can we be freaking out right now? I don't know, girly. Should we? Hey, Mr. Teacher, what's going on? I'm super scared. Me too. Is that girl alive? Yes, yes, she's alive. Don't you girls worry. What's going on? It looks super real and scary. They're just practicing for theater. Don't you worry, girls. Oh. Phew, that was a close one. Yeah, see, they were just practicing. Oh, Kenzie, you don't still believe that, do you? Do you ever remember seeing that kid on the ground ever again? I don't know. I can't remember. You can't remember because you didn't. She died, and the teacher was just trying to make us all feel scared on our first day. Oh, well, that's just, like, one thing. Yeah, but what about the police that would always come here? The evil scientist that worked here? Not to mention the alien who was stealing kids because he was paying the principal. Yeah, I guess those things are pretty messed up. Yeah, exactly. This school has always been terrible. Come on, Sky. We gotta go. We gotta get to class. Everyone take your seats. Well, I know what this all means. What's that? I opened up the best-reviewed school. Why are you speaking? 
meaning in past tense? Because I'm manifesting, duh. Mackenzie and Sky, please settle down. We don't have all day to hear you both rambling about nonsense. Later that same evening. That Taco Bell for lunch was delicious. Of course, more police. Plus, the teachers literally don't even teach here. Ugh, we need a new school in Brookhaven that's like totally better than any other school in history and super different and like amazing. That's what I was talking about earlier, girly. But how are we going to do it? I don't know. Let's figure that out after school today. Then it's settled. Let's do it. <laughs> host Laura here to give you some important breaking news. Brookhaven High, yet again, is voted the worst school in Brookhaven and the worst school in the Roblox universe. That's honestly no surprise since the school is god awful. It's just too bad it's the only free school kids can attend here in Brookhaven. I really wish the school got better and was fixed, but there is only so much we can do. Anyways, this is Laura from Brookhaven News signing off. Meanwhile, school Brookhaven High is? I didn't, but I'm not surprised. They really need to make a new school. This is so awful. That's what me and Sky are doing. We're gonna open the best reviewed school in the entire world. How? We're not sure yet, but we'll figure it out. Interesting. Meanwhile, Laura. I'm getting ready to leave. This is gonna have to wait until tomorrow, and no, I don't do autographs ever. Ciao. That's not what's happening here. Um, security. They won't be coming. I work for someone extremely powerful, and what you did was far from okay. And he was not okay with your choice of words today on the breaking news, and you're gonna go on tomorrow and fix this issue. And what if I don't, Mr. Businessman? And you'll be the issue that needs to get fixed. And don't forget, we know all your little secrets. Oh, and you have till the end of tomorrow's show. You best not forget. Oh, boy. Later that same evening. Okay, so brainstorming sesh. What should be amazing about our school? Well, definitely classes that will help students figure out what they want to be. That's a good one. Oh, oh, and classes that will teach people how to be happy and find happiness and peace in their life. Oh, that's a good one, Curly. We should also do a class that's like focus on your mental health. Like healthy eating, putting down your electronics, reading, and stuff like that. That would definitely be a good class. Oh, wow, these are really amazing ideas. We just need to find an expert that will help us with these. And we're gonna need some money. Yep, we're definitely gonna need that. We should make a social media post and see if someone reaches out. Oh, that's a great idea. I know, right? The next day. Oh, I wish the rest of Brookhaven was more peaceful. I hate leaving my home. It is just so terrible out there. <laughs> Before I get into the breaking news of the day, I would like to formally apologize for my actions yesterday. I should have never spoken lies on TV about Brookhaven High. I deeply regret my actions and will never speak lies ever again, no matter what. I truly am sorry for my out-of-pocket comments, but what I would like to say is that Brookhaven High is one of the best schools, and I will continue to applaud its amazing successes. Anyways, this is Laura from Brookhaven News signing off for a quick commercial break. Meanwhile... Hey, girls, have you figured out what you're gonna do? We've got all the classes, but no money and no one to teach. Yeah, I don't really see this working out. Burley, don't have that attitude. It's definitely gonna work out. It just doesn't seem like it. <gasps> Wait a second. What? What's going on, Mom? I think I figured it out. Figured out what, Mrs. McKenzie's mom, ma'am? Figured out who's gonna teach the class and where the school can be. Wait, what? Where? My old teacher from when I was a kid who got fired because ideas were so amazing, but they didn't want him to teach kids to make them smarter and more in tune with life. Come on, girls, follow me. I'll take us all there right now. A few moments later. And you're sure he'll agree? Yeah, because that'd be super embarrassing if he didn't. Trust me, he'll say yes. Uh -oh, who's there? Who's on my property? It's me, Angie. I was your favorite student from back in the day. Wait, hold up. Your name's Angie? Oh my goodness, Angie! How come we never knew that? I just thought your name was McKenzie's mom. Shush, girls, he's trying to talk. Who are you there with? This is my daughter and her best friend. Oh, I see. Yes, we would love to speak to you. About? We don't want any outside ears to hear. Best to invite us in and we can fill you in. All right, roger that. Uno momento. A few moments later. It has been so long. I have missed you so much. I've been here the whole time. I know. I'm so sorry I've never come to visit you. How they fired you was so unfair. I'm so sorry.
sorry. It's okay. So what brings you into my realm of peacefulness and enlightenment? Well, I'll let these two speak since it's their idea. Well, uh, it was more of a candy's idea, so uh, you're up, girly. We want to start a school, but we want it to be way better than that terrible Brookhaven High. We want it to be a place full of peacefulness and truthful learning. A place where anyone can go and feel amazing and safe. And obviously learn the important things in life. Like a class that genders are in mental health. Or a class that is about building and maintaining relationships. We want to teach things that school don't offer to help people be better people and learn to grow and be happy. You two have joined me so immensely. Let's do this. Well, we have one problem, though. We don't have any money to pay any of the other teachers or to buy a place to teach the kids at. Say no more. I have friends that will teach for free. And this place right here, this can be your new school. Wait, really? Do cows really moo? Yes! Several days later. Welcome, everyone, to science class. Our class will be held outside so that we can get fresh air and be in a good vibrational state. I am so glad we are not at that terrible school anymore. Yeah, me too. Yeah, me three. Later that same evening. So now that we've reached the end of the school day, I would like to set this class up for a time of reflection. So going around the room, I'd love to hear everyone's peak and pit of the day. What is that? So your peak would be your favorite part of the day, like your high point, and your pit would be the lowest part of the day. Mackenzie, why don't you start? Hmm. Well, my peak is definitely super easy. My peak would be coming to the realization that we want to start a school that we want to attend. And so far, it's going super well. And I think the pit would be the math test because it was super hard. Elaborate. Why was it hard? I don't know. It's just really hard. And Sky. My peak was definitely coming to school today. It's just always super exciting. And my pit of the day was my upset tummy. And Josh. My peak was my ice cream sandwich. And my pit was my mom yelling at me. One week later. Hey there, are you looking to register for our new school that is super amazing? Yes, I am so excited to change schools to here. It seems so awesome. And we are so happy to have you. A few moments later. What are we doing here, Daddy? Yeah, this place seems super weird. Can't we just stay home with you? You're trying this here school first. No questions asked. Hi, hello there. Howdy there, partner. I'm looking to drop my here kids off at this fine establishment. Well, bring them on in. Everyone is welcome here. Moments later. This place seems better than Brookhaven High already. Oh, ew. Great, you go here? Well, I did start this school. That's a shame. So true. Everyone is welcome here, but your attitudes are not. So either change them or leave. Great, looks like we're leaving then. Uh, 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 over my dead body, Ashley. <laughs> Sorry about that, Mackenzie. Ashley, you apologize right now. This is your new school, and you will do whatever it takes to go here. And as for you, Ayla, you will do the exact same. Three weeks later. Breaking news here in Brookhaven. Today, I'm coming to you with some crazy news. Mackenzie Turner has just opened the best reviewed school ever. And boy, let me tell you how amazing this school really is. Like, I wish I was young enough to go here. It's got everything you could ever imagine, and I am all for it. This is Laura from Brookhaven News signing off. Meanwhile, who the heck are you? That doesn't matter. Man, this guy looks like he means business. Because I do. Now shut up. There will be no talk like that in this place of peacefulness. Yes, there will. Now, if you don't shut up, you're going to regret it. Get out right now. Now! The school needs to be shut down immediately. You're stirring up the pot, and my boss does not appreciate it. Who's your boss? Yeah, I'm kind of curious now. A very powerful man, and he doesn't like what's going on here. Well, that sucks for him. I've stopped before, but it won't happen again. Never. Yeah, we're not shutting the school down. Like, ever! Ha 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 All right, suit yourselves. Okay, that was super weird. I know, right? They're always trying to tell us what to do. Well, we can't let them anymore. We're gonna do what we want to do, and that's all. The next day... Ah, what another beautiful day. Ah, what? What the heck? <gasps> Our school! Homer! What the heck happened? Yeah, tell us, tell us what happened! Someone destroyed the house. What? Well, was there any survivors? No. It is it my turn? Almost, girly! 
Just you've been saying that forever. Come on, it's gotta be close to being my turn. The more you distract me, the more that I'm messing up, which means the longer it's gonna be until it's your turn. Hey, that's not fair. Not my fault, girly. If you had more than one laptop in this house, then just maybe, maybe we would both be able to play at the same time. Excuse me, why would I need more than one? I'm the only one that lives here. I think we could argue that I spent just as much time here as you have. So there. Oh, hi, Mrs. McGinty's mom, lady ma'am. Sky, I need you to go home. Wait, but I wasn't done playing. Haha, <laughs> you heard the woman. Hey, you're just saying that because you want to have the laptop back. There's no way to prove that. Oh, I'll be back, girly. I'll be back. Kenzie, close the laptop. Hey, mom, stop. I just got that back. I know. I need to talk to you about something. Is everything okay? Well, uh, not really. I lost my job today. Oh, no. Mom, I'm so sorry. You loved being the principal of the daycare center. I know I did. That's all I've done for work since before you were born. It's definitely gonna be hard. I'm really sorry. You've known that place longer than you've known me. Are we gonna be okay? Yeah, we're gonna be okay, but things might be tight for a while before I can find another job. Don't worry, Mom. You'll find another job in no time. I know it. Here's the encouragement I needed. Uh, I'll let you get back to playing your little video game now. Thanks, because I never really took it off pause. The next day. Come in. Hello there. Is uh, everything okay with Mackenzie? Oh, hi. Yes, Mackenzie is fine. At least she will be until she realizes that I'm here. We spoke on the phone earlier about your replacement for the principal. Ah, yes, of course. Welcome. Sorry, I must have slipped my mind. Probably the reason why I'm retiring, because lots of things are slipping my mind nowadays. Oh, no worries. I've been the principal of the daycare center for the past 15 years. I know how it goes. Yeah, well, those are cute and sweet toddlers. These are the ultimate apex predator, the human teenager. They'll rip your face off and just keep going. I'm familiar. I have one at home. That's right. See, there I go again, forgetting again. So, you're interested in the job? Very interested. I'm looking to start somewhere right away. And? And how does your daughter feel about you being principal at her school? Um, well, we haven't exactly talked about it yet, but Mackenzie is a super sweet and understanding kid. I mean, she wants me to get a job just as much as I do. And you don't think being a principal at her school will be a conflict of interest? No, I always treat Mackenzie the same way I would treat any other child on school grounds. Glad to hear it. Well, you are definitely qualified, and for some reason, nobody else wants to be the principal of a high school, so you're hired. You can start immediately. Moments later. <gasps> oh no! Wait, mom? Oh, uh, hi, honey. Uh, what are you doing here? Uh, it's my school. I was just going to class. What are you doing here? Did I forget my lunch? No, no, you have it. Okay, is there something wrong? No, no, nothing's wrong at all. Then why are you here? Wait a minute. The principal announced last week that she was retiring. Ever since she started snoring during the morning announcements, she said she was gonna start looking for a replacement. No, no way. No, no. I cannot have my mother being the principal of my school. Do you know how high school works? Or if Ashley and Ayla got a hold of this information, it would make my life a nightmare. It would make me a total laughing stock. Honey, I need a job. What happened to the conversation we had last night? Well, in the conversation we had last night, I just wanted to get back to my game. I didn't think you looking for a job was going to result in you being my principal. Look, honey, I know it's not ideal. Ideal? Ideal is like a unicorn jumping over the school and dropping glitter like it's rain. This is the opposite of ideal. Okay, I think it's officially crossed the road into overreacting here. I mean, is it great? No, but do we have other choices here? Also, no. Mackenzie, please don't make this worse. No, I'm sorry, Mom. No, you cannot be the principal in my school. I know I probably sound super selfish, but it can't happen. There aren't a lot of things I feel this strongly about, but this is one of them. I will help you find another job, just something that doesn't have to do with my school. Please, no. Meanwhile... Ahem, <clears throat> please come in. Wait a minute. Either my memory is getting worse by the moment, or you just in here. Which one is it? Yeah, we'll have to go with the second one. Anyways, I'm back. I can see that, and lucky for you, I still sort of remember our conversation, so make it quick. Wow, right to it. Okay, okay, so look, I may have overestimated my daughter's excitement for me being a principal here by thinking she has any, and that me being seen at her school is not the most tragic thing to happen in all of humanity. All right, so let me get this straight. You don't want the job now? No, 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 I do. I need a job, and this is literally perfect for me. Well, you'll have to forgive me for not following what you're saying. I'm old, and frankly, this is very boring. Okay, I'm still gonna be the principal here, but in secret. Nobody can know that I'm the principal and Mackenzie's mother. Most of all, Mackenzie. Right, and how do you plan on pulling that off? Especially 
mostly at school assemblies. I know the kids don't really pay attention to what's going on during those, but I think Mackenzie may notice her mother up on the stage. Well, I haven't really gotten that far yet. All I need is for you to keep this secret from Mackenzie. Can you please do that? If it will get you out of my office sooner so I can go back to my nap, then sure, I can do just about anything. Moments later. Uh. What gives, girly? Why the long face? You look like somebody I wouldn't want to tussle with. Did you wake up on the wrong side of the bed or something? Really, Sky? how many more puns are you gonna throw my way? No more, now that I know I'm at risk for getting my head bitten off. What gives, girly? Why are you so cranky? Ugh, you don't even want to know. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I do, or I wouldn't have asked. Well, I was walking to school when I saw my mom. Aw, well, that's nice. He brought your lunch? What? No, why does everyone keep assuming I forgot my lunch? No, oh, she was here for the principal job. Oh, well, actually, that would be kind of cool if you think about it. Cool? I've thought about it in every which way. And cool has never been one of the phrases that I've come up with. Why not? Having your mom as the principal kind of gives you a special advantage. Ah, uh, but not the one that I want. Why not? Can you imagine your mom chewing out Ashley and Ayla? It would literally be epic. Oh, it just makes me smile thinking about it. I don't see that ending well for me in any way, shape, or form. I'm just saying. Well, don't. And the good thing is, we don't have to worry about it because I forbid her from taking the job. Good morning, everyone. I'm sure you were all just as eager to discuss geometry today as I am to teach it. Uh, well, it was worth a shot. And another thing, Sky? <clears throat> Excuse me, uh, Mackenzie. Is there anything important you need to say in the middle of my lecture? I mean, kind of. It'll be really quick, though, I promise. I was being sarcastic. Now that class is in session, I need your focus up here and no more side conversations. I'm sorry, Mr. Teacher Mentor, but this one will be really quick. I just need to tell Sky something. Is that one thing more important than you're going to be learning here today? I mean, kind of. Yeah. Ugh, I am sorry, Mackenzie. I usually have more patience, but a car cut me off on the way here, and I am running very low on it today. If you keep interrupting me, you are going to have to go to the principal's office. But... That's it, Mackenzie. Turn to the principal's office now! Ugh, as if this day can't get any worse. Well, at least I'm not going to be running into my mom in the office. Meanwhile... Excuse me, Mrs. Principal Lady Ma'am. My teacher sent me down here. <clears throat> Come in! Oh, um, I'm sorry. When will the principal be back? I... I am the new principal. How can I help you? Wait, is that your actual face or is that like a Halloween mask? Um, uh, is that gonna be a problem? Can I just talk to the old principal? I'm sorry, she's already left for Florida. She wants to get there before the early bird special ended. Uh, what can I help you with? Uh, well, my teacher sent me down here. For what? I guess, well, these were his words, not mine. I was interrupting, but I guess that just depends on who you ask. I mean, if you ask me, I was simply finishing a thought. And if anything, he kind of interrupted me. I see. So one might say you were disrupting the class? You could say that, and I'm sorry that I did that, but it has not been a good day for me. Oh? Yeah, my mom threatened to become the principal here, which, as you could imagine to any teenager, would be even scarier than Halloween. I can only imagine my bullies finding out that my mom was the principal. But, I mean, you're here, so at least you didn't end up taking the job. I know it might feel like the worst thing, but honey... Wait, 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 what? Did, did you just call me honey? No, I called you the same thing that I call all of my students. Wait, Wait, mom? No, no, this is your principal. Okay, then take the mask off and prove it. Oh, gosh. Mackenzie, please, please, let me explain. No, how could you? I told you not to take the job and you went behind my back. First of all, I am the parent and you don't tell me what to do. Second of all, give me a minute to explain. No, you lied to me. You said you weren't going to do it. But instead, you just secretly became the principal. I am so done with you. Mackenzie, wait. Moments later. Mackenzie! No, you did the one thing I asked you not to do. Just leave me alone. Ew, why were you chasing that loser? Um, excuse me? That girl, she's a total freak show. I would not waste my time with her. Who are you anyways? I haven't seen you around here, and I know everybody. Or, more importantly, they know me. You must be Ashley. I've heard many things about you. Of course you have, and you are. I am your new principal, and if I ever catch you talking about Mackenzie or any other student in that matter, I will will make it my personal mission to make sure you have detention every day until you graduate. Uh, you can't do that. This is my school. Oh, yeah? Well, it's my school now. And if you keep going like that, I will make sure you don't see the inside of prom. I don't know how your last principal ran things here, but in my school, no one is name-calling. You got that? But, but... If I were you, I would get going before I change my mind and give you detention right now. Ah! 
Mom? Oh, Mackenzie, you heard that? Yeah, it was pretty cool. So I guess having your mom as the principal isn't the worst thing after all? Maybe not. I'm sorry I overreacted. It's okay, honey. I'm sorry I wasn't up front with you. I shouldn't have taken the job in secret. I always tell you to be honest, and how are you supposed to do that when I'm not honest with you? I'm sorry, honey. Could you please forgive me? Of course, Mom. Can you forgive me about how selfish I acted? Always. Now, come on. Let's get you back to class. Wait. Can you really give Ashley detention until graduation? We'll talk about it at dinner. I couldn't imagine anyone else being my bestie. Aw, me too, girly. We're actually the bestest friends ever. Do you ever wonder what it would be like if we weren't besties? No, silly. Why would I ever think or wonder about that? Sometimes I have dreams and nightmares about it. Oh, girly, you're always preparing for the worst. You just need to relax a little. But how can I, bestie? I mean, bad things can happen. I'm not between us. What are you two losers smiling about? None of your business, Ashley. Hey, you can't talk to Ashley like that. <laughs> you better not disrespect me or else. Or else what? Oh, you don't want to know. Your threats mean nothing to us. Oh, yeah? And why's that? Because we're besties and your bullying does nothing to us anymore. Yeah, exactly what Kenzie said. Besties, you two? Oh, don't make me laugh. That is so lame. What are we, babies? We're tighter than your skinny jeans. Yeah, like your skinny jeans that aren't even in style anymore. <gasps> How dare you? Go listen to Ashley. You're so in style. Shut up, Ayla. I know that. They wish they were as posh as me. You losers are just a pair of wannabes. Oh, Ashley, always trying so hard, but we're immune to your words. Yeah, your attempts at bullying us are like yesterday's memes. Old and irrelevant. You think you're so cool, but you're just two nobodies. Yeah, nobodies. No one cares about you in the popular social standings. Well, we can care less about that. Maybe it takes a nobody to know the true value of friendship. And we've got that in spades. Plus, we're besties, and no one can come between us or bug us. So, ciao. Ta da You can't let them get away with this. It's not right. They're not popular enough. As long as we're together, nothing will phase us. You will regret this. Oh, no. Are you going to unfollow us on Instagram? What are we ever going to do? Or maybe you'll write a strongly worded tweet. How scary. <laughs> oh, you just wait. Bye. <laughs> okay, that was not good, Ashley. And don't you think I know that? Are you calling me stupid? I, I would never. We need to come up with a plan. A plan that will ruin their friendship so I can get my bullying power back. You should throw a party. What? What are you talking about? How is that even going to work? Because it's going to be so fun and amazing and they're not going to be invited. Hey, nerd, loser. Uh, Ashley, please don't hurt me. Please stop looking at me. Ah! Ugh, pathetic. Moments later. There's no way on earth that would even happen. How could you even think of something like that, bro? But could you imagine? No, no, not at all. Just imagine trying to be best friends with a school nerd. It'd be socially crushing. High school would suck. Yeah, that's why I would never think about it because it would suck. Problem solved. I became best friends with a school nerd. Jeez, even saying it sounds awful. Yeah, you're telling me, bro. I have the most perfect idea. <laughs> what is it, Ashley? Do tell. What's got you laughing like that, evil genius? This has got to be interesting. That's for me to know and for you to find out later. Oh, is that so? I'll fill you in on all the deets later today. Okay, sounds good, babe. And when I do tell you, you better not tell a soul. Our lips are sealed. Wait, Ashley, what's going on? Shut up, Ayla. I wouldn't want you using your big fat mouth to yap about it and ruin everything. My mouth is fat? Oh, no, this is horrible. No insecurity unlocked. Ayla! Ayla, where are you running off to? Urgent business! I can't believe my mouth is fat. Oh my god, she can never take a metaphor, can she? It's like talking to a brick wall that talk back annoyingly, but also has the brain of like an actual peanut. Hey, I heard that! Oh, uh, I wasn't talking about you, Ayla. Oh, uh, okay. Later that same evening. Ooh, I'll be right back. I gotta go to the washroom. I told you the banana split was overkill. <laughs> Silly girly. Right, now I'm probably gonna be alone waiting here for hours. Hey, who said a beautiful girl like you would be waiting alone? Who? Me? Who else, gorgeous? Stop it! You're making me blush! But you look cute when you blush. It makes me smile how beautiful you look, especially when you're blushing for me. Um, uh, uh. I want to get to know the real you. Your beauty has me lost for words. I think I'm starting to get lost in your eyes, to be completely honest with you. Your words have got me lost for my words. You're just so handsome. 
Um, you know, I think we should spend more time together. Really? When? How about tonight? Where, Prince Charming? Well, I was thinking about bringing you to this party. B b party Yeah, a party for the popular kids. And you would bring me? As my date, of course. As your date? Yeah, wouldn't have it any other way. Oh my god, Candy is not gonna believe this, and she's gonna have so much fun. Wow, I am so excited. <laughs> Thing is, uh, you can't tell her. What? What do you mean? It's a secret, and she's not invited. She can't know. Only you can come, not her. But I'll see you later, beautiful. Sky, what was that about? Oh, what was what about? Uh, Noah. What? Huh? I don't know what you're talking about. He was clearly just talking to you. What did he say? No, he was not. I don't know what you're talking about. I wish he was, though, because he's so beautiful. Okay, Sky, I know you're lying. Lying about what? talking about I, I promise and why are you acting super sus and your face is all red and why are you blushing <gasps> wait was he flirting with you i'm not acting sus and no he wasn't is that your final answer my final answer for what final answer for what you're saying to me yeah it is are you sure yes double sure yes i'm double sure now stop asking okay no need to get so defensive girly i'm just checking because if you're not sure then that would make you lie to your bestie which is pretty messed up oh boy Meanwhile, my genius plan is starting to work all too well. I'm so super confused. What's going on, Ashley? Ugh, an evil genius never explains her plan. Uh, yes they do. They always do. Have you never seen a movie with an evil genius before? It's like quite literally what they do at the beginning of every movie. Ayla, you moron. You've got to be kidding me right now. What? You know I'm right. No need to name call. No, you're not. There's a reason it's in the movies. Why? Because it's not real. And not to mention how stupid that makes them look. Every time they open their big mouths about their plans, they always lose. Do you want me to fail? I guess that's true. I never really looked at it that way before. That's because you're not an evil genius. I am. So, can I know now? No! Now stop asking! But how am I supposed to help? You're not! Moments later. Okay, so what's the plan, girly? I finished my after-school study sesh. Wow, that quick? Yeah, it was super easy. Plus, I'd rather hang out with you. Yeah, okay, well, I'm totally down. Okay, great. Oh, shoot, uh, wait. What? What's wrong? I actually don't think that I can hang out today because I am super busy. Busy? You've never been busy after school last minute. Yeah, I'm sorry. I totally forgot. You never do that. You always plan out ahead of time. Yeah, well, this one totally just slipped my mind. What even is it? You're always free at the end of the day. Um, it's, uh, you know. I don't, you know. That's why I'm asking. It's just like a little something. It's something crazy. And what's this little something? Like I said, nothing crazy. Just something normal and boring, I guess. Boring? You hate doing boring things. What is it? I, I can't talk about it. I gotta go. Okay, she's acting real sus. That's for sure. Moments later. Hey, honey, how come you're not hanging out with Sky? Who oh, no, knows? She's acting kind of sus. Oh. I don't really know. But you girls always hang out after school. Trust me. I know, Mom. I'm her bestie. Well, then what's going on? I don't know. She had, like, super last-minute plans and never ended up telling me what for. Huh. That is super weird. But with who? I don't know. But we're besties, and she's definitely not telling me something. It literally makes no sense at all. Well, maybe she's just busy doing family stuff. But why would she not tell me about that then? Well, maybe she didn't want to tell you or talk about it. Huh. I guess that could be the case. It probably is. Is. Try not to worry so much. Even her mom said that she was busy today. Wait, really? But that can mean nothing. Maybe she didn't want to see you. We always meet up on Mondays and gossip. Trust me, it's probably just family stuff. Don't stress, honey. Well, I guess we'll find out if she's really telling the truth. I've got my eye on you, girly pop. A few moments later. Hmm movement as of yet. She still must be home. Maybe she never even went home. Maybe she's already out. Maybe she's cheating on her bestie with a new potential bestie. Ugh, she is so gonna get it if she's lying to me. Honey! Ah! Mom, gosh, you scared me! Oh my gosh, well, you scared me! Well, you scared me first! Well, but what are you doing up in my room? Does it really matter? Don't tell me you were spying on Sky's house. I wasn't, Mom. Leave me alone. Meanwhile... I bet you look perfect. I hope so. I'm actually so nervous right now. What? Why would you be nervous? You're so amazing. That is so crazy of you. I don't know. I'm just nerve-wracking. I've never been to a popular kids party before. Well, don't worry. You're going with me. Sky! Mom, get out! Whoa, what's got you looking so fancy? I'm going out with Kenzie, and we want to look cute. You better not be going to...
to a party. Mom, I'm not going to a party. I'm just hanging out with Kenzie. We're going to the movies. Aw, that sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah, it is. But I gotta go. I'll see you later. Moments later. Oh my gosh. Mom, there she is. Very interesting. And no family around either. And why was she dressed up all fancy? Kenzie, what are you talking about? Mom, I'm kind of busy right now. I gotta go. What? Honey, where? I'm going to inspect. She is not getting away with this one. I'm definitely got her now. Oh, Mackenzie. Surprised to see me? A little bit. Sky just left for the night. Oh, so she's not doing anything with you? With me? What do you mean? She said that she was hanging out with you. Oh, no. This is not good. Maybe, maybe, maybe she got kidnapped. No, I need to call the police. No, Mrs. Sky's mom, don't do that. Why not? Because uh, I just got a text from her and everything is gonna be okay, but I gotta go. Oh, that girl is gonna give me a heart attack one day. Meanwhile. Wow, this party seems super fun. I didn't know there was gonna be so many people here. You're so cute. <laughs> uh, what do you mean? Don't be silly. There's probably gonna be a ton more people coming too. Wow, have you ever been to a party with that many people before? Really? Well, you're like the most beautiful girl here, that's for sure. Uh, the moves are sliding into place, that's for sure. What are the... I'm going to stop you right there. Shut up. Uh, I don't think those girls like me very much. Don't be silly. You're one of the popular girls now. Really? But what about my bestie, Mackenzie? As your best friend? Sky, that's like the worst idea. You can't do that. Oh, right. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> don't mind me. Good. You better be. Right. Time to get this party started. Meanwhile... Ashley posted a story that I'm tagged in. Oh gosh, this can't be good. Wait, Sky is at a party with Noah at Ashley's house? Oh, you have got to be kidding me. She is so going to get it. Mark my words, girly. Huh, she thinks she's going to lie to me. What best friend she is. I'll show her. She is in so much trouble. One eternity later. Why is it such a long scooter ride? Oh, this is taking forever. Finally. Jeez, why does she have to live at the top of the hill? All right, let's see what kind of excuse Sky's got now. I know you're in there, Sky. You betrayed your best friend. And that is sick. How could you? You make me sick to my stomach. Oh, no. How does she know that I'm here? Don't worry about it. Nothing bad's gonna happen. Oh, my God. She's so dramatic. Ooh, is this part of your secret plan? Ugh, shut up, Ayla. Hey, wait for me. Why are you doing this to me, Sky? I'm gonna let her in and go explain. It's not worth it. She's just super angry and jealous right now. But... No, you don't. You're a popular girl now. Fine. Just ignore me. Put friends off, Sky. I hate you. A few moments later. Party's already started. Come on in. If you say so. Ah, George! Wait, who invited George? That is so not cool. What? George? What are you doing here? He told me to come in because the party was started. Well, that doesn't answer why you're here, George. I'm here because of a noise complaint. Time to shut this little party down. Hey, it's not Little? There's only five of you here right now. I would say that's pretty little. Well, that's because it's just getting started. And you've already got a noise complaint. Well, that just proves my point. It's time to shut this thing down. Aw, I don't want the party to be over. I was having so much fun. Wait, who the heck even complained? Yeah, my neighbors aren't even home. Yeah, it sounds like fake news. The person was anonymous. Well, what did they sound like, George? I don't know. It was like a girl, I guess. It must have been Mackenzie. Ugh, she's such a dweeb. All right, everyone out now. Oh, fine. Wait, Noah, do you still want to hang out? Nah, I'm going to go home, beautiful. I'll see you around, though. Oh, Mackenzie is so dead to me. She ruined my whole night with Noah. Ugh. All right, come on, come on, keep moving. I'm going. Perfect. Everything is going exactly as planned. <laughs> Wait, how are you happy in a moment like this, Ashley? Your party was ruined, and it was ruined by Mackenzie. I mean, we have to do something. About it. I mean it. Ayla, who cares? My plan is working. What plan? Your party was ruined. Why aren't you upset? I need answers. Like, are you not angry at Mackenzie? Why are you happy? Oh, God. Are you dumb or are you dumb? Hey, they're both the same option. Right, so you're dumb then. Why? Oh, God, you're so stupid, Ayla. Good thing you're cute and have rich parents. Okay, wait. Why am I dumb? Because I am the one that did this. Did what? Oh, you've got to be kidding me right now. Okay, Ashley, I am so confused. I do not understand. I am the one that called the police, idiot. <gasps> you ratted on yourself? Oh my god, are you kidding me right now? Are you serious? Yeah, I think so. Oh, you really are dumb. Hey, that's not nice. Why did you ruin your own party and then blame it on Mackenzie? So everyone hates her. Duh. Ashley, that's a genius idea. Why did I never think of that? Yeah, I know. I'm well aware of that, Ayla. Wow, you are so smart. 
If you tell a single soul, I won't. You have my word, evil genius. <laughs> Meanwhile, I betrayed me. She's the worst friend in the whole wide world. I never want to see her stupid face again. Kenzie? What are you doing in here? Well, I've come to see if you're okay. I'm fine. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, honey, you're not. Yes, I am. Are we really going to play this game? What game? Kenzie, I'm not silly. I know a thing or two. Mom, I think I know myself better than you. That's for sure. I can hear you crying throughout the whole house. It's really awkward, actually. It's like this high-pitched scream crying. It's hard to avoid or not to hear. So let's quit the avoidance of the question. Wow, thanks for making me feel better, Mom. Oh, come on now. Talk to me. No. Something about betrayal and sky. Well, if you must know, she betrayed me like hardcore. And now we're like so not friends, that's for sure. Honey, everything is gonna be okay. You've been besties for like ever. I'm sure you two will sort it out. No, Mom. We definitely won't this time. The next day. I realized how scary this school was walking in it alone, that's for sure. Oh boy, that's where my locker is. I need to get into it. You know what? On second thought, I think I can go to class without going to my locker. Don't forget your presentation, Mackenzie. I only bring it up because I don't see it in your hand. Oh, uh, yeah, I won't. It's just, uh, over there in my locker. Perfect. I'll see you in class. My presentation. Oh boy. <laughs> Oh, look who it is, the loser of the school. What are you doing here? I've just got to get something from my locker. Shh, that is so lame of you. Yeah, that's lame of you, dweeb. <laughs> <laughs> loser. This is like the worst day ever. I don't think it can get any worse. Moments later. Hello, fellow students of Brookhaven High. Oh, no. I think I spoke too soon. So, I'm sure you're all wondering why my party got canceled last night. And that would be because Mackenzie got super jealous. She wasn't invited and made a noise complaint against us. And that's why I got canceled. She called George. And George came over and kicked everyone out before it even started. So remember, don't forget to bully that little dweeb. Ta-ta! This couldn't get any worse. My social life is totally over. And I don't even have a bestie to help me. And to make matters worse, I had nothing to do with calling the police in the first place. Hey, I'll be your bestie. Ah, how long have you been there for? Like, the whole time. I'll be your bestie, though. Don't worry. I became best friends with a school nerd. I mean, I guess it could be worse than that. Oh. No, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say that. It's okay. Uh, do you want to be besties? Yeah, sure. Why not? Great. Right, we're going to be besties, and we're going to have the bestest time ever. I promise. Later that same evening. Lunchtime, bestie! Aren't you coming? Oh gosh, not them. Don't worry about them. We'll slip away and have our own little fun day. We won't see them? No, we'll be quick, but we gotta go now! Okay. Thought you could get away so easy, hey? Friends with this school nerd now. <laughs> it's gotta be the lamest thing ever. Hey, I'm not lame. You are so lame. I'm not gonna even address you for the rest of this conversation. <laughs> Good one, Ashley. What is wrong with you, Sky? You ruined our night last night. You don't even care about parties. Well, it was my special fun night with Noah, and you called the police. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did, and now everyone hates you. Except for maybe the nerd, which says a lot. Hey! Did you hear that, Sky? I think I heard something weird. Yeah, and now even I hate you, Mackenzie. Your social life is so done for. <laughs> With her, that's for sure. Friends with who? And where have you guys been? Stop asking questions, Ayla. God, you're so annoying. Yeah, you are pretty annoying, Ayla. Who do you think you're talking to? You just came into this popular way of life like two seconds ago. Tell her, Ashley. The guy is already your superior, so why don't you run along and get us some coffee or snacks or something? Just pick up something good and don't return until you do. Yeah, Ayla, go get me a coffee. Chop, chop. <laughs> That's the nerd's job. Can't you see that the nerd isn't here at the moment? Are you for real right now? Do I look like I'm joking? Plus, three is a crowd, so let us chill. We'll be in the study lounge. Don't take too long. And don't forget, I like my coffee iced. Oh, she is so gonna regret this. Meanwhile, I've been looking for you everywhere. Don't worry about those losers. They're definitely peeking right now. Peeking? Like the peak of their lives is like right now, you know? Like the best times are literally going to be behind them when school is done, so don't worry. When will we hit our peaks? When we're done school 
and become like super successful boss babes. That's what. I mean, yeah, that does sound pretty accurate. Yeah. But I miss my bestie. You don't need her. She wasn't your real bestie to begin with anyways. Why do you say that? Because she's not here. She's over there with your bully. That's one fake meanie. Yeah, I guess you're right. I'm totally right. A few moments later. You think it's okay to be skipping school? Don't worry. I already talked to the principal. Wait, what do you mean? I talked to her. She said it was okay. Wait, she just let us skip school? The perks of being the high school nerd. The principal loves you. Wait, I thought I was her favorite student. You're her second favorite student. Wait, but how? Because I'm her favorite. None of us makes any sense. I don't like it. Well, I hate to break it to you, Bestie, but I'm the top dog when it comes to the principal's favorite. Wait, how did you even have time to talk to her? We literally left right after my breakdown. I have her phone number. We text all the time. Okay, I'm not stupid. That's definitely Cap. Cap? What's cap? Like you're capping, you know? Like stop the cap. Are you looking at me so funny? I have honestly no idea what you're saying. It's like what the cool kids say to tell someone to stop lying. It's like cap means lying. Interesting. Sure, but it doesn't change the fact that you don't have the principal's number. But I do. If anyone was to have her number, it would be me. She even said so herself. What? What did she say? She said, and I'm quoting, the only students that can have her number are the students that finish school. She said that no current students can have it. And she said if she was going to give her number to somebody, it would be me. So you really need to stop the cap, bestie. I promise you, I'm not capping. I actually have it. See? Look at this. Wait, what the heck? Like I said, bestie, perks of being the school nerd. She loves me. Oh gosh, I think I might be actually sick to my stomach. This lied to me. I don't like this. I don't like this. It's okay. Try not to think about it too much. She still loves you, so I wouldn't worry. Five minutes later. Wait, what are we doing in here? We can't be in here. The store's closed. No, we can. What makes you say that? How do you know? My dad owns the Starbucks, and I told him to close earlier so we can make our own fancy drinks. Wait, what? The options are endless. Starbucks is our oyster. This is awesome. Wait, what are those dance moves? I call it the Jiggle Swirl. Jiggle Swirl? Well, I've got one for you. Whoa, what kind of dance is that? I call it the Lucy Goosey. I love it. Wow, you're like a natural bestie. You know it. Don't ever doubt it. So, what are we going to make, Barista Bestie Baddie? Barista Bestie Baddie? <laughs> I like that one. I want lots of pink flavors in mine. So, you want the pretty pink unicorn frat? Oh, what's that? My secret delicious drink I made when my daddy used to take me to work with him. What's in it? I can't tell you. It's a secret. <sighs> That's not fair. Here, just shut it and try this. Okay. Now, how good is it? You've got to be kidding me. This is the best frappuccino I've ever had. I told you it would be good. You have to tell me what's in this and I will not take no as an answer. Not yet. Come on, but we're besties. We've only been besties for like a day. Now, come on. Let's go to Rockstar Clothes. Wait, really? Yeah, come on. Does your dad own that place too? <laughs> I wish. A few moments later. How do you like me now? Oh, bestie, is that you? You don't even look the same anymore. Yeah, I can look cute if I want. Okay, here, let me try something on, too. Stay there. Okay, how's this one? Baddie alert! Hey! Oh, hey there! You again? Are you gonna be buying anything today? We might. Yeah, probably not. Then I suggest you girls leave. Time to go! Hey, wait for me! Oh, kids these days have no respect. Kids used to respect their elders, I tell you that. A few moments later. Okay, so what do we do now? Well, school's basically done for the day. I say we spend the rest of the day at the movie theater. Like, watch multiple movies? Yeah, why not? It'll be fun. I've never done that before. You've been missing out. I can't think of anything more fun. Hey, wait up for me! Wait, but are they gonna let us do that? Sure, why not? You don't think they'll care? No. Nope. How do you know? Because I do. You gotta give me more than that. Okay, fine. We're not gonna tell them. That's why. Well, we can't do that. That would be stealing. I'm just kidding. I would never steal. My dad gets free movie tickets all the time. That's why we're going all day. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Just trust me, Bestie. I want what's best for us. Okay. Time for a movie theater marathon. Five hours later. This is literally gonna be the best day ever. You're literally my bestie for life. You too, Genzi. I became best friends with this school nerd, and it's become the best decision of my life, that's for sure. I'm glad, too. Life couldn't be better. Oh, 
Ugh, you've got to be kidding me right now. What? What did I do this time? Sip it, Noah. What? I'm so confused. Ugh, if you must know, it's them up there. Oh, who cares, though? Um, I do. Yeah, but why? Because she's not sad. She needs to be sad. But, like, she basically is. No, she's not. She needs to hate her life, and she doesn't. Hello, could you two try and keep it down? We're trying to watch a movie. Yeah. The movie hasn't even started yet. Oh, look, it's Grumpy Ashley. <laughs> She's always so angry. Ah! I have had it with you! <laughs> Later that same evening. Man, I can't believe the best day is over. Me too. I don't want it to be over. Same. This sucks. Yup. Why? Why what? Why does this day have to be over? It isn't fair. You're right. It's not fair at all. We're besties. It shouldn't be this way. Wait. What? Why are you excited all of a sudden? Because the day doesn't have to end. What do you mean? The day doesn't have to end. Huh? What? But we can't stop time. Oh, silly. Well, I'm standing here on the edge of my seat. Feel free to explain whatever you want. Two words. Question mark? Starts with an S. Uh, I don't know. It's a love bird party. We could spend the whole night together. We could have a sleepover and then go to school tomorrow from my house. That's brilliant, Kenzie. I don't know why I didn't think of that. And here we were all sad. It's a lumber party. Come on, slumber party to the break of dawn. First ever slumber party. The next day. Hey, where are you going? The cafeteria. Have you never been there before? Ashley's up there right now. How do you know? Because she's always up there at this time. Okay, well, why does that matter? Well, I'm scared. Don't be scared. She can't mess with us. We're besties and besties stick together. You know what? You're right. Meanwhile. Oh, you're so beautiful, Sky. Ugh, it's got you rattled up, Ash. Her. What about? They've been having a good time, and it's not okay. I am not okay with it. Who cares? Yeah, that's what I said. Said when? In his dreams, because he's so, so stupid. Oh, uh, what? Never mind. Ugh, this is so annoying. Two coffees, please. And make them extra hot. She's gonna pay. Mark my words. Class is starting, Kenzie. We gotta go. We can't be late. We'll come back for the coffee. Sorry. Bye. There's literally no one there. We don't even have a cafeteria lady. Ugh. I'll be right back. Ugh, I think I'm really falling for Sky. I don't want to go out with you anymore. You're always, like, so angry all the time. Fine. Go be with that dweeb. She's been popular for, like, five minutes. Oh. Just leave before I tell her that you were faking it at first. I don't want to see your face. Uh, okay. A few moments later. Wait, what happened to Noah? I don't know, and I don't care. Oh, uh, okay. Hey, Ashley, where have you been? I haven't seen you since yesterday. Are you, like, avoiding me or something? Shut up, Ayla. Yeah, Ayla, shut up. You're in my place, Sky. Cool. Ashley, why is she in my place? It's not your place. But Ashley, I'm normally your number one bestie. Who cares? Right now, Sky's my number one bestie. What? You heard me. <laughs> Embarrassing. You got that right. And Ayla, you're no longer part of the group. In fact, you're even more of a loser and a dweeb than Mackenzie and the nerd. That's it. What's it? Ashley's been lying to you this whole time. She lied about Mackenzie calling the police to shut her party down. Yeah, and she made Noah go for you. He doesn't actually like you. He's just messing with you, and he's only doing it because Ashley's forcing him to do it. And she did all of this just to split you and Mackenzie up so she could bully Mackenzie even more. There, I said it. <gasps> Ooh, I'm definitely going to stop being friends with you then. We were never friends to begin with. Right, how could I forget? Gosh, I need to find Kenzie and patch things up. I feel really bad. As I should. I was such a bad friend. Sky? <gasps> there she is. So you heard all that? Yep. Are you here to apologize to Mackenzie? I'm really sorry, girly. Okay. Well, can we be best friends again? No. Uh, I think I'll give you both a minute. Well, how about best friends? No, Sky. <laughs> Why not? Because you're fake. What do you mean? You lied to your bestie. You, you ditched your bestie. Then you became friends with our bully and then bullied me. That's why. But I was manipulated. That's no excuse. But I miss you. I miss the old you. I am the old me. It's too late, Sky. The damage is already done. It just wouldn't feel right to be friends with you again after everything that's happened. Fine. <laughs> Oh, God, that was awkward. Yeah, I can hear. I was debating if I should come in and save you, girly. It's okay. Thanks, though. A few moments later. All because of this, I have no friends. Ah! You should know, snitches get stitches. Uh, 
Oh, this is way too early for this. And it's summer. I should be vibing or sleeping in. This isn't fair. Kenji? Josh, what are you doing up so early? It's summer and I'm going to the beach. You should like totally come. It's my last day before my trip with my cousin. So like you should come hang out. I can't, Josh. What's wrong, Kenji? Is everything okay? My teacher sent me to summer school. What? Does Sky have summer school with you too? Are you being serious with me right now? What do you mean? How much of an airhead are you, Josh? Like, you were there. You saw what happened. Did I? Curly, what are you even doing in this class? You told me you got a perfect grade last year. Sounds like Kenzie lied and failed the class. I did not. Sounds like you did. Ugh, whatever, guys. So then why are you here? Because I lost all my homework for the course, so I have to redo it all. Interesting. Very interesting. I'm calling lies on Kenzie on this one. But Kenzie? you doing here? You lost all of my assignments, so now I have to retake this class even though I got 100%. Oh, right. Yeah, so I'm literally gonna do whatever I want, and you're not gonna say a word about it. Well, I guess we'll see about that. Yeah, I guess we'll see. A few moments later. Why are you dressed differently right now, girly? Like, what the heck? None of your business. Everyone, flip to page. What's up, Clea? My Hold up. I got some poser trying to interrupt me right now. What's up, Sir Capsulot? Excuse me? Yo, sorry about that play. I just had some fool fronting on me. Mackenzie Grace Carter, get the heck out of my classroom and come back for detention. Let me hit you back. I got a little rascal being feral. All right, peace out, losers. Later that same evening. This is so stupid, but whatever. Not so cool now, eh? Guess you're not loving it now. Whatever. At least I'm not a loser. I shouldn't even be taking that class. I got 100%. Well, I don't care. You're not allowed to act however you want in my class, and you need to listen. I'm just here so I don't get expelled. Oh, yeah? Well, there's other measures I can take to really mess up your day. Whatever you say, hotshot. The next day... Girly, you gotta chill out. Like, seriously, you're gonna get in major trouble if you keep this up. Like, just chill out and keep a low profile. Why would I do that? They're the ones that messed it up. Because if you just act good, then that means that they owe you one. Ugh, whatever. Ugh. So, are you gonna be a good girl today, Mackenzie? Yes, ma'am. So, as you can see, these are the two correct answers and nothing else. Mackenzie, sit down. Mackenzie. Yes, ma'am. What on God's earth are you doing standing on the desk? Getting a better view of the correct answers, ma'am. Sit down. Come on, Kenzie, just listen to her. Sit down. Not until I fully examine the correct answers. You are really getting on my nerves. That sucks for your nerves, I guess. Sorry about that. Get out. But I'm not finished. Mackenzie! Uh, go to the principal's office and wait there until I have a chance to speak with you. Jeez, someone's not in a good mood. Three hours later. So, let's all just take a chill pill and discuss this like caring and loving adults. I think Mackenzie needs to attend summer school. Excuse me? I've already passed this course, and let me remind you, I got 100%. Uh, I think I agree with the teacher. This might be a good opportunity for you to learn a few things. Well, I have a summer camp that I'm going on. Looks like you'll have to cancel it. What? Okay, okay, everyone. Let's take a step back. We don't have to go that far, but let's keep it real. You don't have to cancel, but you can rebook to go later in the summer. But no, that's not possible. Anything is possible. And now the trip I planned with my best friend is not happening. I hate this and I hate them. I can't go and this is the worst thing ever. Now, do you remember? Oh, yeah, that really sucks. I'm sorry to hear about that. Yup. A few moments later. Welcome to your first day of summer school, and thanks for giving up all your amazing summer plans to be here today. Yup. Fresh blood. Easy pickings. Hey, hey, let's all be nice to the new little nerd. This is gonna be fun. Why are you sitting all alone? We don't bite. But we scratch. Everyone, everyone, please, please settle down. Now, I know this might be an easy concept to grasp, but you are all here for a reason, and that reason is because you didn't understand what you were learning during the school year. And I can't even believe that Sky ditched me and left me all behind. Man, some friend she is. Early, got some bad news. What is it now? It's really bad. Like, I don't know what to do. But we need to change the trip and go later in the summer. Can't do that. It's too late to do that. Sky, we have to. Well, why would we do something 
so crazy? Because I'm being sent to summer school and I have no choice but to attend. We just have to postpone it. It's only gonna be like a little bit, please. There's like no way that's happening. But what about our trip? Like, it's still gonna happen. It's just like, I guess you're not gonna be able to come. So like, I don't know. I can't believe you would do this to your best friend. Like, this is insane. I can't believe you, Scott. What on earth are you even talking about? Like, it's your fault for acting out like that. And like, I warned you multiple times not to. So like, I'm supposed to miss out on my trip because you didn't listen and you are being bad in school? No way, girly. Sucks to suck. And like, whatever. I can't believe you right now. You're being awful, girly. Like, you're supposed to be my bestie and you're not acting like my bestie at all. Whatever, girly. I'm gonna go to my room because I don't want to argue right now. And as the rest of you can tell, Mackenzie is too busy dreaming about her mommy to care about summer school because she misses her mommy. I can't hear you over your ugly face. Do you mind repeating that? <gasps> Excuse me? Stop pretending like you didn't hear me. Like everyone knows you're ugly and you know it too. Mackenzie! So you're gonna get all upset now and scream and cry like a baby. Sounds like someone can be mean but can't take the meanness back. You know what we call someone like that? A little crybaby. <laughs> <laughs> Just as I suspected, a crybaby. You ruined my summer, so I'm gonna ruin yours. This girl be wildin'. She's a certified baddie. Come over here, join us, G. No, she's not sitting anywhere. Go home and learn this material all alone. She's my hero. Come on, let's get out of here, guys. I'm down. See ya, Teach. Yeah, peace. Moments later. Hey, wait up! What? What's up? You're like really funny. Yeah, you should totally hang out with us. I mean, my bestie kind of betrayed me, so I am looking for some new friends. First of all, just like maybe don't say bestie ever again. It's just not cool. I say what I want when I want it, and no one's gonna tell me otherwise, so watch it. Ooh, she is bad. Ooh, she is bad. Respect. Several days later. Uh, this is so hard. We're all like totally gonna fail. Don't worry. I know all the answers. I'll help y'all and we'll pass with high grades together. Wait, really? Yep. One week later. Man, hi, Miss Kenzie. Well then, go see her, silly. I mean, we're back in Brookhaven now. Yeah, I'm gonna show up at her house and surprise her. A few moments later. Oh, it's you. Curly, are you not happy to see me? Uh, just surprised, that's all. Well, let's see you. I miss you. I, uh, can't. Why not? Summer school. Oh, right, right. Well, let's hang out after. Yeah, maybe. I'll see how I feel. I gotta get ready, though. I'll see you later. Later that same evening. Let's cause some havoc. Shut up, Dex. Oh, Parker, you don't want to cause havoc now? Is that what's happening? Oh, no, we're causing havoc. I don't care what anyone says. Girly, let's hang out. Let's have a girly pop slumber party tonight. <laughs> Who's this little cake pop? I can't hang out right now. Maybe later. I'll text you later. Huh? What the heck? Meanwhile. Who is that loser? Yeah, she was super annoying and childish. Yeah, is that like your best friend or something? Nah, she's just someone that annoys me. I don't really like her. She's just really annoying. Well, yeah, that's super obvious. But like, it seems like she loves you. Like, she's not allowed to hang with us. She makes my ears hurt. Yeah, same. Yeah, I agree with that too. Don't worry. She's definitely not hanging out with us. Moments later. Hey guys, watch this. Uh, what the heck is he doing? His literal favorite trick. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Whoop it, baby! What the heck? He's gonna hurt himself. We have to stop him. Oh, he'll be fine. Parker, watch out for that! Whoa, that was so rad. Did you guys see that? You're insane. That's all I'm gonna say. You're absolutely insane. Hey, that's my car, young man. You're gonna have to pay for that. Yeah, that is definitely not happening. Then Moments later. Hey, do you guys want to play a game? It's like the funnest game in the world. We don't play games with little losers. Yeah, we're so sorry. Yeah, maybe when you're like a little cooler, we might. Sorry about that, kid. Yeah, sorry about that, little dweeb. Hey, mommy! Jeez, Kenzie, you didn't have to be so mean. What? But you guys were being mean too. What? I was just following what you guys were doing. You don't have to be all mad at me. Yeah, not cool, Kenzie. Huh? What do you mean? 
<laughs> you are so gullible. Moments later. Do you think she'll be mad? Who cares? She's the reason we're all in summer school. If you ask me, she deserves it. Meanwhile. You're kidding me. Kenzie is hanging out with bad people. And I need to stop this ASAP. Before it's too late and she becomes a criminal forever. A few moments later. You need to take Mackenzie out of summer school. She's hanging out with bad people. And she's becoming bad. Well, we can't do that. We need her to change the bad kids and make them good and help them pass. Look, the opposite of that is happening. Hold up. Wait, did you plan this? Did you do this on purpose? Well, kind of, yeah. We needed to lose her info so she could take summer school so she could help the hoodlums and save them because clearly it's not working. Well, at least not yet. It probably will by the end of summer. Just don't worry. Don't worry? Are you kidding me? You're gonna fix this right now or else I'm telling you the whole world and you'll be in big, big trouble. The next day... The principal wants to see you, Mackenzie. Nope. I'm not going anywhere without my friends. All right, fine. I'll let him know. Mackenzie Turner, you're being kicked out of summer school and you have to go. You can't kick me out of summer school? Nice try, though, but I am staying right here. Okay, so if you leave and never hang out with these hoodlums again, then no more summer school for anyone and the school will even give you and Sky enough money to go on a trip. Like, basically, the one that you missed. Are you serious? Peace out, suckers! Hey, how many days until Thanksgiving break, girly? Thanksgiving break? There's no break, Sky. We get like two days off. Plus the weekend, which is two days, and two days plus two days is four days. So we really get four days off, which, if you ask me, is a break. Wow, I never really put that much thought into it, but I'm glad that you did. Oh, hello, Mrs. Principal Lady Ma'am. Uh, can I help you? Yes, I am looking for Mackenzie's student records to be brought to my office. Um, I'm Mackenzie, right here. Hi. Mackenzie, this does not concern you. Well, I heard my name brought up, so I'm pretty sure it does. Please, please go back to your independent reading. How am I supposed to go back to reading when you're literally right in front of me talking about my files? Mackenzie? Going back to reading now. Psst. Girlie, what do you think that's about? Why does the principal want your file? I don't know, but I'm totally freaking out. Why are you freaking out? Well, Sky, let me ask you. Has the principal ever asked for your file for a good reason? My gosh, you're right. You're doomed. This might be the end of you as we speak. Whoa, whoa, way to jump the gun, but I hear you. I mean, somebody's got to know something, right? Yes, and I think I may just know who. Later that same evening. So, something funny happened at school today. Funny haha, -ha, or funny I should expect a call? Not sure yet. The principal came into my class today and asked for my files. Should I be worried? I mean, I know I've had history of talking in class, but in my defense, it's no more than anyone else. Oh, that? No, you shouldn't be worried about it. Wait, you guys know what it's about? Should we tell her? Oh my gosh, if you guys know something, then yeah, tell me. Okay, it's not a huge deal. It's just we haven't been that happy with Brookhaven's school system lately, so we decided to transfer you to the school in Barry Avenue. Wait, what? I'm switching schools? No, 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 no. You could not have me switch schools. What about Sky? I can't leave Sky. I also can't survive in school without Sky. Mackenzie, relax. Sky is transferring too. Oh, God, don't do that to me. I'm eating. I could have choked on food, you know. Well, luckily you didn't choke. You're fine, honey. Why are we switching schools again? We've just noticed some things at your school. The teachers seem to be overworked, class sizes are too big, and we think you would benefit from getting some individualized attention. Well, I guess I can't argue with that. So where is this new school exactly? It's in Barry Avenue. <laughs> The school is in Barry Avenue? No way. Why not? It's a great school, and more importantly, you're already signed up. The principal already sent your transcript. No, 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 no. You guys don't understand. That is the rich kid school. And that's a bad thing? To anyone with a soul? Yes, yes, it is. You guys don't understand. You can't send me there. The kids are mean, privileged, bratty. I'm gonna need, like, hundreds and thousands of dollars worth of clothes just to be accepted through the front door. Well, that's not happening. You can't send me to a rich kid school. I'm not a rich kid. Let me see Brookhaven, please. No, you're already signed up. And besides, it's not about the money these kids have. It's about the education. You yourself said there were a lot of bullies in Brookhaven. Maybe there won't be any in this new school. Wait a second. I didn't think of that. Maybe if this school is more of a budget, they have more teachers to crack down on all the bullies. Maybe this isn't such a bad thing after all. Well, good thing or bad thing, you start tomorrow. Wow, thanks for the heads up, guys. Anytime, honey. I was joking. Okay, but it's all good. Looks like I'm starting a new school tomorrow. The next day. Whoa. I know. This school even looks rich. Well, I guess they don't call it the rich kid school for nothing. So, are you going in? Me? Am I going in? I don't exactly see you moving. Well, I'm going 
too. I was just waiting for you to make the first move. Forget it, girly. You can make the first move. Fine. Okay. Maybe I will. All right. Go ahead. Be my guest. Uh, okay. Fine. I was bluffing. Okay. We're high schoolers. This is just ridiculous. We have to go in sooner or later. So come on. Okay. Let's do it on three. All right. One, two, three. Oh, girly, come on. Hey, once again, I didn't see Boo moving. I don't know what you're so nervous about. This is a rich school, so it has to be great, right? Well, there's only one way to find out. All right, let's really do it this time. Moments later. Whoa. Dorothy, we're not in Kansas anymore. No, we're certainly not. This place looks like a palace. Everything is so clean and new. And do you see these kids? They look like royalty. Welcome. You must be new here. I'm on the student council, so it's my job to welcome new students. Please let me know if I can do anything to make you feel more at home here. Oh, wow. Thanks. Yeah, we totally will. Hi, and I'm in charge of the after-school program and all of the activities. Let me know if there's any clubs you want to join. I can get you into them. That's awesome. Thanks. No problem. Bye. Welcome to Berry High. We're glad to have you. Wow, thanks. Sky, why are we so nervous to come here again? I don't know, girly. Do you hear everyone? Everybody here is, like, so nice. I don't know. Are they, like, brainwashed or something? Because what is this place? If I knew everyone was going to be this great, I would have asked to transfer here, like, years ago. Yeah, no kidding. Who knew the principal asking to get your transcript would have turned out to be such a good thing? If I had known, I would have given her my transcript right then and there. I don't care what they call the rich kid school. I have a good feeling about this place, Sky. Me too, girly. I say we take this place by storm. Shall we go to the cafeteria? I think we shall, but after we go to class because it's still morning. Good plan. Probably not too smart to skip the first day of school. One hour later. Whoa, even the cafeteria is awesome. If this is how the other half live, I am so here for it. Same. What table should we sit at? Do you think there's like a specific one? I don't think so. Everyone was so nice here. I don't think they care where we sat. You're right. Let's sit at the round table over here. You said it, girly. Whoa, okay, this is nice. Yeah, something about sitting at a round table, I think. It feels like seniority. We should have done this like ages ago. Sky, we don't have round tables in Brookhaven. Yeah. We should have gone to this school ages ago. Um, excuse me? What are you two losers doing at my table? Um, I'm sorry. What? This is the popular table, meaning it's my table. So get lost. I'm sorry. We didn't know this was your table. We're new. This is our first day. I'm Sky. This is Mackenzie. Ugh, like I care? Why don't you just go back to where you came from? Brookhaven? I don't think we can. Our transcripts were already sent here. Brookhaven? I should have known. The poor section. Who is are you? Like, I tell you my name, but we don't run in the same circle, sweetie. All you need to know is this is my school, my rules, my table. Okay, sorry we offended you so bad. We'll move to a different table. No, it's not that easy because now there is the scent of loser all over my table and people will know that you were sitting here. Okay, well, why don't we just go and get a teacher to help sort all of this out? Oh, so is that how you get things done? You call it teacher? So you're not just a loser, you're also a freak. I've got to go yell at the lunch lady for messing up my tater tots. But when I get back, you two better be gone from my table or else. Meanwhile. Wow, I was hoping I wouldn't have to see you guys here on the first day. Are things not going well? Oh, no, 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 no. The school is amazing. Yeah, the students are really nice. The layout is awesome. The teachers are great. And the food is actually edible. There's just one problem. And what is that? Ashley. Oh, so I see you've met Ashley. Man was attacked by. It's all the same thing. Yeah, that's sort of why we're here, Mrs. Principal Lady Ma'am. We don't really know how things run around here, but we had some issues at our last school with bullies, and we were always told to bring it to the teacher's attention. So we just want to let you know what's going on. Ah, uh, yes. Thank you so much for bringing that to my attention. <clears throat> uh, sorry. It's a bit dry in here today. You know, I would very much love to help you, but um, <clears throat> my gosh, will you stop making that noise? I mean, go on. Look, I know what a little monster Star Ashley is. Trust me, every time she comes to my office, I leave in tears. But what can I do? Her parents are big donors to the school, and we found out a long time ago it's best to just keep Ashley happy. So you mean continue to just let her torment everyone? Torment is a strong word, but I don't have a better comeback, so yes, that works. I guess torment is as good as a term as any. But that's not fair. She's a bully, and she's not held accountable for anything. 
everything. Girls, I hear you. Trust me, as someone who was bullied in school myself, I hear you. But unfortunately, when it comes to Ashley, it's just best to let her have her way. The school couldn't run without all the help it receives from her father. Look, take my advice and just try and keep your heads down. That's not exactly the best advice. Do you want a hall pass to get out of class when she's being too mean? That's not great advice either, but we'll gladly take one each, please. A few moments later. Well, so much for being a great experience. Keep your chin up, girly. We can't call it quits on this place yet. How can we not? A bully basically runs this school. We cannot condone this. The principal doesn't even have control over her own students. This whole operation is under command of a small blonde girl, who I'm pretty sure is not even a human. Well, what do we do? Do you think we beg our parents to let us go back to Brookhaven? There's gotta be another way. I really like it here. The classes are smaller, the teachers are better, and I mean, come on, look at this place. There's gotta be a way where we can keep this school and take Ashley down a peg. A way to show that she isn't the boss of us. And I suppose you have a plan? As a matter of fact, I kinda do. All right, girly, tell me everything. The next day. Uh, why are we here again? I don't know. I thought there was some sort of announcement or assembly. I don't think any teachers called for an assembly. Ahem. You probably don't know me, well, because I've only been at the school for like eight hours, but my name is Mackenzie. Hi, Hi Mackenzie. Mackenzie. Hi, Sky! I know this is your school, and we're new here, so we should technically mind our own business. And we should probably just try and fit in, but I'm afraid we can't do that. The reason we're here today is because this school can no longer be run by the hateful command of Ashley. <gasps> but she's so scary. I know she's scary, and I know she's a bully. But look at what she has led us to be. We're afraid to sit down at our own cafeteria tables. We're afraid of walking down the halls. Even our principal is afraid of her, and it cannot stand anymore. Uh, um, uh, what is going on? <gasps> so who is with me? Who is ready to stand up to the big scary bully and take back our school? To sit where we want at lunch and not be afraid anymore. Oh, please. You can try all you want, sweetie, but it is never gonna happen. I'm in. Me too. You're a bully, Ashley, and we are not afraid of you. Yeah, nobody is afraid of you anymore, Ashley. Oh, I'm telling my daddy! Rise and shine, girly. It looks like you snoozed your alarm one too many times. We are going to be late for school. Uh, why did mornings have to be part of the day? Can't we just skip to the afternoon? Because the world likes to torture us with early mornings and pop quizzes. But I brought you coffee, so forgive the world, would you? Uh, how many sugars did you put in this? It tastes like I'm drinking syrup. Thought you needed a sweet start to what's going to be a better day. We've got a math test, remember? A test? Oh my gosh, I totally forgot about the test. I was too caught up watching reels. We'll go over our notes on the way to school, but come on, girly, get up, get up, get ready, let's go. Okay, okay, give me five minutes. I'll meet you downstairs. I'm already counting. A few moments later. Mom, where did I put my history notes and my left shoe? Girly, you said five minutes, not 15. We're on a tight schedule here. Okay, okay, I'm here. Come on, let's pull. Here's your history notes. I found them under your couch. Oh, you're a lifesaver. All right, operation don't be late is a go. All right, history pop quiz time. Who was the first woman to fly solo across the Atlantic? Amelia Earhart, 1932. Duh, what a baddie she was. Okay, hit me with another one. Okay, what was the main cause of World War I? The assassination of Archduke Franz Ferdinand of Austria. But it's more complicated than that, right? Spot on. You are on fire this morning. Okay, your turn. When did the Cold War officially end? 1991 with the dissolution of the Soviet Union. Okay, what about the Renaissance? When did that start? 14th century, peaking in the 15th and 16th centuries. It began in Italy, right? Exactly. Imagine living in a time with such creativity. Yeah, but every era has its challenges, just like us trying not to fail history. True, but hey, we tackle our modern challenges like a champ. Speaking of modern, if you could invent something to make school easier, what would it be? Probably an app that summarizes all of your notes and creates study guides for you. Or a teleportation device to get extra sleep in the morning. Why not both? The ultimate school survival kit. Anyways, it looks like we made it on time. And thanks to your quiz marathon, I feel like I am so ready for that test now. Same here. And after school, let's brainstorm our app idea. Who knows? It could be our ticket to fame. Deal. But for now, let's just conquer history. And math. Don't forget math. Two hours later. So, how did you find it? The long answers were like the toughest part. Agreed, but I'm glad it's over now. Now on to the math test for tomorrow. Ugh, don't remind me, but at least we have our 
study session planned out. No distractions this time. You mean no late night social media deep dives? Got it. Imagine if schools taught us how to be social media gurus or something. That would be a class that I would never miss. Right? I mean, I wouldn't even sign up for extracurriculars. But enough of this dreaming. Let's go see what kind of sloth they're serving for lunchtime. A few moments later. Hey, guys. Mind if I join? Not at all, Josh. Have a seat. Uh... Did you guys hear about the new Snapchat feature? It's supposed to change the way we think about social media and education. Snapchat and education? That sounds unconventional. I mean, how is that even supposed to work? Well, it's still in the beta phase, but from what I've read, they're experimenting with educational content. It's like short, engaging lessons delivered through snaps. Imagine learning calculus through filters and stories. Wow, that's really innovative, but can you really learn that way? They're betting on it. The idea is to make learning fit into the way we already use social media. Plus, they're talking about launching a whole Snapchat school program. A Snapchat school? Sky and I were joking about something like that. This can't be real. It's not just a concept anymore. They're starting with a pilot program. They're looking for the perfect students to test it out and give feedback. Sky, this could be our chance to do something different. Something that actually fits with how we live our lives. Josh, how do we get in? Oh, uh, I wish I knew. You can apply, but apparently you have to be hand-selected by the Snapchat committee in order to attend. They say the students have to be the perfect fit. You know, students that are on Snapchat the most, with a big following, and they also can't be full-on influencers because those are the ones who get to teach it. Oh my gosh, we're going to Snapchat school, Sky. Is this dream come true? Oh, and sorry to burst your guys' bubble, but apparently only one student from each school will get on the list. What? Uh, I have to go! Um, uh, yeah, me too! Uh-oh. Moments later. Hey, hey, Sky, wait up! What are they gonna do, Kenzie? Only one student from our school gets to go to the Snapchat school. How are we supposed to decide who that is? We don't have to decide. We both can go. Huh? What do you mean? Think about it. We're a package deal. Always have been. Where one goes, the other one follows. We'll both apply, and if one of us gets in, then we'll just go from there. But what happens when only one of us gets selected? Then that person goes, and the other one supports them all the way. Besides, we're stronger together. We'll increase our chances if we both apply. We'll make sure that the Snapchat committee sees that we're a dynamic duo not to be separated. Okay, I guess it's worth a shot. Let's do this. We'll fill out the application together, and we'll make it clear that we're in this together. You know what? I think we might actually pull this off. Of course we will. We're unstoppable, remember? We can fill out the application tomorrow after school. Then we need to start upping our Snapchat game. Okay, let's do it. Later that night. Mom, Dad, guess what happened at school today? What is it, sweetie? You seem unusually excited. Well, you know how I've been talking about wanting something different for my education? Something that really fits with the way that we live our lives? Yes, you've mentioned it a few times, honey. Why? What's on your mind? Well, there's this new thing called the Snapchat school. It's this innovative program program where students learn through Snapchat. They're like short, engaging lessons delivered right to your phone. And they're even starting a pilot program soon. A Snapchat school, huh? That sounds unconventional. I know, I know, but think about it, Mom. This could be the future of education. Learning in a way that's fun and engaging and not just sitting in a classroom all day. Huh, I'm not so sure about this, Mackenzie. Traditional education has worked just fine for generations. But Dad, this isn't about abandoning traditional education. It's about supplementing it with something that's speaks to our generation. And besides, it's just a pilot program. I mean, what's the harm in giving it a try? Uh, I'm just worried about the quality of education you'll receive through something like this. It's important to make sure that you're getting the best opportunities for your future. Look, I understand your concerns, Mom, but this could be a chance to be part of something like really groundbreaking. I just want to explore my options. Uh, how about we talk about it a little later? Yes, I agree with your mother. Uh, fine. The next day. Mackenzie? What? What's going on, Mom? Why'd you call me down here? Shh! Watch this! It's about the Snapchat school program that you were talking about! Breaking news here in Brookhaven! Brookhaven High has been selected as one of the pilot schools for the groundbreaking Snapchat school program. This innovative initiative aims to revolutionize education by integrating Snapchat into the learning process. This program is set to launch next semester and will be filled with traditional learning as well as specialty classes taught by Snapchat celebrities. Here is the principal of Brookhaven High to talk about this further. Thank you, Laura. We are thrilled to be part of this innovative initiative. Snapchat School represents a new era in education, one that embraces technology and meets students where they are. We believe it will not only enhance 
learning outcomes, but also foster creativity and collaboration among our students. You heard it here first, folks. Applications are due tomorrow, and by the end of the week, you will know if you have been selected. Anyways, this is Laura from Brookhaven News signing off. Did you hear that, Mom? That sounds incredible. I heard it, sweetie. It sounds like quite the opportunity. Are you sure that you really want to get involved? Absolutely. This could be the chance of a lifetime. Well, I sure hope you get the spot then. Thanks, Mom. Me too. But I better get to school now. I love you. Bye. Bye, honey. Moments later. Whoa, what is going on here? Hey, Sky, what's with all the commotion? Carly, did you hear the news about the Snapchat school program? Yeah, I saw it on the morning news. But what does that have to do with everyone acting like they're in a Snapchat marathon? Well, apparently, everyone's scrambling to boost their Snapchat scores and fill out applications for the program. They're pulling out all the stops to try to secure a spot on the Snapchat school. Wow, I've never seen so much Snapchat activity in one place. Kind of like a digital stampede. Exactly, and it's not just the usual suspects. Even kids who barely use Snapchat are suddenly obsessed with it. They're all going crazy for that coveted spot at the Snapchat school. Oh, count me in. If everyone else is gunning for it, we can't afford to miss out. Let's show them what we're made of, Sky. I'm with you, girly, but how are we gonna stand out when the whole school is applying? Uh, I don't really know yet, but I'll think of something. Just meet me in the study lounge after first period. Okay, but it better be something good, girly, because it looks like we have no shot. Don't worry, I'll think of something. Oh boy, we're damned. Three hours later. Okay, how about this? We could start a series of Snapchat stories showcasing our volunteer work in the communities. It'll show that we're not just about selfies and filters, but that we're also committed to making a difference. Ooh, I like that idea. It's thoughtful and authentic. And it sets us apart from the other applicants who are just focusing on their social media presence. Well, 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 look who's trying to play in the big leagues. Yeah, you do really think you stand a chance against Ashley? Please, you're not even in the same league. What's it to you, Ashley? We're just doing our thing. Yeah, and we're definitely not going to let anyone, including you, bring us down. Oh, please, you're delusional if you think you have a shot at getting into the Snapchat school, especially with someone like me applying. Yeah, and I'm here to make sure Ashley's application shines brighter than anyone else's, so you might as well just give up now. We'll see about that. We're not backing down, Ashley, and we won't let you intimidate us. Yeah, we're going to give it everything we've got, and who knows? Maybe the Snapchat committee will appreciate authenticity over popularity. Ew, no they wouldn't. Ayla's right for once. The committee only cares about numbers, and you both don't have any. Come on, Ayla, we've got a vlog to film. Coming, Ashley! Well, that was kind of a buzzkill. I mean, she does kind of have a point, though, girly. They can't compete with Ashley's numbers. The committee won't even notice us. Then we have to make them notice us. Wait a minute. I have an idea. Oh, come on. Tell me. After school, meet me at the pool by the playground. Your plan is to go swimming? Come on, girly. Think harder. That's not it, Sky. Just trust me and meet me there. Ugh, this better be one heck of an idea. Later that same evening. Oh, where the heck is she? I've been waiting for like 10 minutes now. Oh, my God. Forget it. I'm totally leaving. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Check this out! Drama by the pool! Totally posting this everywhere. Oof, what a day. I'll just text Mackenzie to meet at my house. I need to change out of these clothes. One hour later. Oh, look who decided to show up. It was nice of you to ditch me at the pool earlier. Sorry, I couldn't resist the opportunity for a little dramatic flair. But seriously, though, I saved an old lady's life. Can you believe it? <laughs> what? What's so funny? It's just that old lady. Yeah, that was me. What? You pretended to drown? Because, Sky, now you're taking over Snapchat. And even the news is talking about you. You're a hero. But it's fake. I didn't really save anyone. Does it matter? Everything online is fake anyways. Besides, think of it as a way to boost your chances to getting into the Snapchat school. Okay, fine. But how about you? You need to get popular too. Don't worry. I've got that covered. I stole the principal's cat and then returned it. I'm going viral too. You stole a cat? Girlie, that is going way too 
looking for? Ugh, I am so out of here. Relax, guy. You can thank me tomorrow when we both get in. And this is your house, remember? So I'll leave. I knew that. Yes, and you should leave. There was no other way we could have beaten Ashley, Sky. At least we have a chance now. I'm sorry. The next day. Kenzie, come join us for breakfast, dear. You've been staring at the TV for hours. I can't, Mom. I need to know if they announced the results for the Snapchat school program. You can always catch it later, sweetheart. Breakfast is getting cold. I'll hear the broadcast start from here. I can't risk missing it. And you'll hear it start from here, too. So come on, food, now. Fine, sorry. This contest has made me a little crazy. And how are you feeling about the contest now? Nervous? A little, but hopeful. Sky and I worked really hard on our applications. It's just, I don't know. Forget it. Is everything all right, dear? You seem a bit conflicted. It's just... I I might have done something to upset Sky, and something that was morally questionable. But it's all to secure our futures, you know? So is it really a bad thing? Oh, looks like they're about to announce it. Good luck, sweetheart. I don't want to get my hopes too high. I bet everyone's counting on the exact same thing right now. Meanwhile... Mom, I need to text Mackenzie. I've been thinking, and I forgive her. I hope that we both get this spot in the Snapchat school. Aw, I am proud of you, sweetie. Meanwhile... Just a couple more minutes, and I'll officially be part of the Snapchat school. Ah, just think of the influence I'll have. You're gonna be a celebrity, Ashley. Shut up, Ayla. This is my moment. Meanwhile... This is it. This could be my chance to prove that intellect triumphs over popularity. Meanwhile... Mom, in my basketball video wins and I get into the Snapchat school, I'll be one step closer to the NBA. I believe in you, Josh. Just keep practicing and stay focused. Meanwhile... Oh my gosh, this is it. I'm gonna be a pop sensation. I wonder if they'll have Billy as a teacher. Moments later... Good luck, sweetheart. We're rooting for you and Sky. You've both worked so hard for this. Whatever happens, we're proud of you. Thanks, Mom. Thanks, Dad. Oh, I really hope we make it. Shh, it's about to start. in Brookhaven. Welcome back, viewers. We have been waiting for this moment. The selection for the Snapchat School program is finally here. Before we reveal the chosen student, let's welcome a representative from the Snapchat committee to join us. Thank you for joining us today. Can you tell our audience a bit about the selection process? Of course, Laura. The selection process was rigorous, with many outstanding candidates competing for the coveted spots. We look for students who not only demonstrated a strong presence on Snapchat, but also exhibited creativity, innovation, and a passion for learning. Amazing! And now, without further ado, the moment we have all been waiting for, the selected student from Brookhaven High for the Snapchat school program is... Mackenzie Turner! I made it! I can't believe it! I actually made it to the Snapchat school! We are so proud of you, sweetheart! You worked so hard for this! Wait, but then Sky didn't get picked! Oh, honey, I'm sure Sky will be happy for you! She's your best friend after all! No, Mom, you don't understand! I did something terrible to get this spot! What? What do you mean, sweetheart? I need to go find Sky and apologize! I can't enjoy this victory knowing what I did! Mackenzie, wait! Moments later... Sky! Oh! alone. Guy, I am so, so sorry. Save it, Mackenzie. You only got it because the principal thought that you saved her cat. You did not deserve it. I know, and I hate myself for that. I'll go to the committee member and I'll tell them everything. Oh, wait, Mackenzie, you can't do that. This is your chance. This is your dream. I can't go through this if I don't have your blessing, Sky. I need to make things right. <sighs> Fine, I forgive you, okay? But promise me you'll never do anything like that again. I promise. Well then, when does it start? It starts tomorrow. Tomorrow? Well then we better get shopping. You need a whole new wardrobe. Something cute, preppy, and snapchatty. Hey. Thanks, guy. Let's do it. A few moments later. Hi there. Are you two looking for something special? We're getting ready for my first day at the Snapchat school tomorrow. Oh, how exciting. We just got a new shipment of clothes, and that would be perfect for you. Let me just grab a few pieces for you to try. Ooh, why don't you give this one a try? I have a feeling it would look amazing on you. Thanks. Okay, I'll go try it on. I'll be right back. I bet it's gonna look fabulous on you, girly. Okay, what do you think of this? Girly, you look stunning. You have I agree with your friend. You really should get it. Okay, let's do this. Ring me up. Here, take my money. And here's your change. I should probably head home now. My mom and I have to fill out the transfer papers. And then get everything ready for tomorrow. Of course. Good luck with everything, girly. I'll be rooting for you. Thanks, guy. I'll FaceTime you tomorrow when I settle at school. Okay, see ya. The next day. I can't believe today is finally here. My dreams are coming true. I know, sweetheart. It's a big day for you. Are you feeling nervous? 
A little bit, but mostly excited. I can't wait to see what Snapchat school has in store for me. Just remember to be yourself and everything will fall into place. Now, come on, I'll drive you since it's your first day. Thanks, Mom. Five minutes later. Thanks, Mom. I think I got it from here. You sure? I can walk you in, honey. Oh, it's okay. Having my mom hang around on the first day might be a little embarrassing. All right, sweetie. Well, good luck. And remember, this is a new beginning for you. Thanks, Mom. Bye. This truly is a new beginning for me, isn't it? Moments later. Welcome, welcome to Snapchat school. Another one, another one. You've just entered the keys to success, my friend. Wow, thanks, DJ Khaled. I can't believe you're the principal. That's right. They call me the key master of wisdom around here. Now, let me show you around and introduce you to some of the major teachers here. Okay. And over here, we have the one and only Ariana Grande, our musical artist teacher. Hey girl, welcome to the classroom of tuneful magic. Are you ready to hit those high notes and thank you next your way to success? Absolutely, Ariana. I'm so excited to learn from you. And over here, we've got Northwest, our business teacher. She's already making deals before breakfast. Hey! Welcome to the boardroom. Let's talk profit margins and playdates later. Nice to meet you, North. I'm ready to dive into the world of business. And last but not least, Sean Mendez, our acting guru. He'll teach you how to hit your marks and steal the show. Hey there, welcome to the stage. Get ready to tap into your emotions and belt out those monologues like a pro. Hey, Sean, I can't wait to unleash my inner performance. All right, Mackenzie, I'm sure you'll meet some teachers and students later, but for now, go explore a bit and get ready for your first class in about 20 minutes. Stay focused, stay blessed, and remember, another one. Thanks, DJ Khaled. Moments later. And even better, I just met DJ Khaled, Ariana Grande, Sean Mendez, and Northwest. They're literally all teachers here. No way! That sounds amazing, Kenzie! I am so happy for you. I hope you'll have the best first class ever. All students, class is about to start. I gotta go, Sky, but I'll catch up with you later. And thanks for being so awesome. Anytime, Kenzie. Okay, knock them dead in class. A few moments later. Rihanna, this is unreal. Ahem, you didn't think I'd let you win, did you? Ashley, what are you doing here? My daddy bought me a spot at this school, just like he buys everything else for me. Of course, how could I forget? Oh, and that video of you miraculously finding the principal's cat sounds a bit fishy, don't you think? I, uh... All right, class, let's get this party started. Time to unleash your inner boss babe and boss dudes. Work, 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 work. Okay, we should probably sit down. Whatever, dweeb, I'll find out what you're hiding soon enough. Three hours later. Wait, what's going on over there? Here's the money. Now, where is it? Here's the phone. I should go now. Perfect. What on earth is Ashley up to now? Forget it. Ashley's always involved in something sketchy. Mackenzie, hurry up. Your dad has dinner ready for when we get home. Coming, Mom. Later that same evening. I'm telling you, Sky, it was so strange. Ashley was handing money to some sketchy guy, and he handed her a phone in exchange. Yeah, sounds like classic Ashley. But honestly, forget about it. She's always up to something shady. I know, but I have this weird feeling. Like, what if something serious is going on? Well, if you see her doing it again, snap a photo of the guy. I can look into it and see if there's anything fishy. Good idea. I'll keep an eye out. Thanks, guy. No problem. Anyways, it's getting late. Let's call it a night and deal with Ashley's antics tomorrow. Agreed. Good night, Sky. Good night, girly. Sweet dreams. The next morning. Honey, is everything okay? You seem a bit distracted this morning. Oh, it's nothing, Mom. Just thinking about some school stuff. Well, don't let it weigh too heavy on you. Remember, high school is just a small part of your life. I know. Thanks, Dad. Hey, Mom. Dad, have you guys noticed anything ever strange about Ashley? Ashley? Well, she always seems a bit entitled, if you ask me, but uh, why do you ask? It's just, I saw her doing something yesterday after school, and it didn't really sit right with me. Oh, what did you see? She was talking to some guy and exchanged money for a phone. It seemed really suspicious. Hmm, that does sound odd. Maybe we should keep an eye on her, but don't get too involved, okay? Yeah, I'll be careful. Thanks, Mom. Thanks, Dad. The next day. Okay, just keep calm and gather evidence. What are you doing, Mackenzie? Spying on me? Just keeping an eye out for suspicious activity, Ashley. We don't want any trouble, do we? Oh, you think you're so clever, don't you? Well, let me tell you, Mackenzie, you are way out of your league. We'll see about that, Ashley. I have a feeling that your little secrets won't stay hidden for long. <laughs> Let's hope so. See you in class. Moments later. All right, class, for today's 
exercise, we're gonna work on trust and teamwork. I want each of you to pair up with a partner. Mackenzie and Ashley, you two will be partners. Seriously? Now, one of you will fall backward, trusting that your partner will catch you. Let's start with Ashley falling first. If you drop me, I will literally sue you. Relax, Ashley. I wouldn't do that. Good. Okay. Ready? And... Ah, gotcha. Wow, Mackenzie, I'm impressed. You actually caught me. Okay, your turn. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ooh. Ashley, what are you doing? You're supposed to catch me. Oops, my bad. Guess I wasn't really ready. Better luck next time, loser. Ashley, that wasn't funny. You need to take this exercise seriously. Show respect for your classmates. Whatever, it's not my problem. <laughs> A few moments later. Why does she always have to be like that? Can't she just for once? Oh, I should have known better. I should have seen it coming. You know what? No, I will not let her get to me. I won't give her that satisfaction. I'll show her that I'm better than this. I think it's time to bring in the reinforcements. Later that same evening. Oi! Hey, what's the emergency? Why the urgent call? And why do I suddenly feel like James Bond? Perfect timing, Spy Sky. Ashley's up to something, and I need your expertise. Ashley, what's she done now? And how can I help? I have a feeling that she's hiding something big. Something that she doesn't want anyone to know about. We need to find out what it is so I can level the playing field. I'm in. Where do we start? Ashley's house. If she's hiding something, it's probably there. We need to gather intel, Spy Sky, and do it fast. Let's do this, Agent McKenzie. Operation Ashley Secrets commencing now. Moments later. Okay, girly, listen up. Ashley leaves every night at precisely 8.07 to satisfy her ice cream cravings. She's back by 8.55 like clockwork. That gives us a tight window to sneak in, snoop around, and get out unnoticed. Guy, how do you know her schedule down to the minute? I have a knack for observing people. Call it a hobby. And Ashley's routine is like clockwork. Perfect for a spy like me. All right, let's do this. But... What if she catches us? Relax, Agent Kenzie. We'll be gone long before she even realizes we were here. Now, keep your eyes peeled. Here she comes. Here she comes. It's exactly 8.07. Wait for it. Wait for it. Aha, she's leaving. Now, let's move while we have the chance. A few moments later. Whoa, this place is huge. Where do we even start? Let's try her room first. It's usually where people hide all their secrets. Okay, I'm right behind you, girl. Look. There's her laptop. Maybe we could find something on there. Good idea. I'll check her drawers for any hidden documents or clues. Sky, I think I found something. It's a folder labeled private. See what's inside. Hey, check this out. It's a phone. Jackpot! That must be the phone that Ashley got from that man. This is exactly what we need to expose Ashley. Yes, that's perfect. Uh-oh, she's back early. Quick, put everything back and how it was. Let's get out of here and don't forget the phone. Hurry, let's go. Moments later. I think I found something. Look, it's the video from the day that you saved the old lady. Well, I mean, technically it was me at the park. Well, click it. Oof, that should totally get us a spot at that Snapchat school. Oh no, Ashley knows it was all fake. If she knows about this whole thing, she's gonna use it against us. This changes everything. Ashley has been one step ahead of us this whole time. But you know what? This time, we have the step ahead. She probably doesn't even know the phone is missing yet. Ugh, what should we do? Well, first, we need to be careful. We need to tell the school the truth before she exposes us first. I can't do that, Sky. This school has been a dream. I can't just throw all that away. Well, you have to think of something, girly, and fast. Ugh, I'll deal with it tomorrow. I promise. I'll make this right, Sky. Ugh, I know you will, girly. Okay, talk tomorrow? Yeah, I'll let you know how everything goes after school. Okay, see ya, girly. The next day. Ashley, we need to talk. What did you want, Mackenzie? Another failed attempt to take me down? No, I'm not going to stoop to your level. I'm just going to tell you the truth. What are you talking about? I know you saw the video. I know you know about the whole setup in the park. So what if I did? You think that changes anything? Yes, it does. Because I'm not going to let you use it against me. Oh, I think you'll find I have other plans. I'm not going to expose you, Mackenzie. Well, at least not yet I won't. Finally, you'll be at my mercy. Because now, if you slip up, I'll tell the teachers and the snapchat committee about your fake little content please ashley don't do this we can find a way to work this out without resorting to that nice try mackenzie but 
I hold the cards now, and you're gonna do exactly what I want. Moments later. I can't take this anymore, Sky. Ashley is making my life a living nightmare. I know, Kenzie, but you don't have to let her control you like this. You have the power to change this. But what if she exposes me before I can do anything? What if I lose everything? You won't lose everything, girly. You'll gain freedom. And besides, if you don't stand up to her now, she'll just keep on bullying you. You have to take back the control. You're right, Sky. I can't let Ashley continue to manipulate me like this. Tomorrow, I'll, I'll go to the committee and I'll tell them the truth. <gasps> that little dweeb. Oh, we'll see about that. That's my girl. I knew you had it in you. Girly, I am so proud of you. Thanks, Guy. I couldn't have done it without you. Anytime, Kenzie. We're in this together, remember? Meanwhile... Stop everything! I have something urgent to report! What's the meaning of this, Ashley? I have evidence of a fraudulent act committed by one of your students, Mackenzie. She staged an incident to gain favor for the Snapchat school spot. This is a serious accusation, Ashley. Do you have proof to back up your claim? Yep, I've got it all right here. Listen for yourself. Mackenzie plans to come clean about her deceit. But I wanted to ensure you were aware of the truth before she had the chance to spin her lies. Dang, that's tough. Thank you for bringing this to our attention, Ashley. We will investigate this matter thoroughly. My pleasure. Later that same evening. Mom tell you something. It's about what happened with the Snapchat school spa. But isn't Mackenzie? You, you seem really worked up. I, I, I did something that I'm not really proud of so I could secure a spot at the Snapchat school. I staged an incident to make it look like I saved the principal's cat. And I pretended to be an old lady that was drowning so Skies could save me. Oh, Mackenzie, why would you do something like that? I thought it was my only chance, Mom. But it's not, right? I can't live with myself knowing that I cheated to get ahead. Well, I'm proud of you for coming clean, sweetheart. But remember, honesty is always the best policy. You can't build a future on lies. I know, Mom. That's why I'm gonna go to the committee right now and confess everything. I have to set this straight. I am behind you every step of the way, Mackenzie. Just promise me that you will never do anything like this again. I promise, Mom. I've learned my lesson. A few moments later. Mackenzie, we've been expecting you. Hi. I, I'm here to confess. I staged the incident with the principal's cat. It was all a lie. We're aware of your actions, Mackenzie. We already have been informed. You, you know? That's right, Mackenzie. And now I need to take you down to the station for some questioning. But, but, I came here to confess. I want to make things right. Confession is a step in the right direction, Mackenzie. But there are still consequences for your actions. Let's go, Mackenzie. We need to get this sorted out downtown. A few moments later. Mackenzie, we need to get to the bottom of this. Why did you stage the incident with the principal's cat? I I thought it would get me into the Snapchat school. I wanted to stand out. I wanted to make myself more appealing to the committee. That was a risky move, Mackenzie. Lying to manipulate your way into something isn't the right approach. I know. I, I just didn't think about the consequences. I thought it was my only chance. I understand, Mackenzie, but actions have consequences, and now you have to face them. I'm ready to face whatever comes next. I just want to make things right. Good. That's the first step. Now, let's get your statement recorded, and then we'll go from there. Moments later. All right, Mackenzie, well, I've read your statement, and given the circumstances, I'm gonna let you off with a warning this time. Thank you, Officer George. I promise you won't regret this. I've learned my lesson. I hope so, Mackenzie, but I need you to understand the gravity about what you've done. This isn't just about getting into a school. It's about integrity and honesty. I understand, sir. I won't forget it. Good. Now, as far as your enrollment in the Snapchat school, that's not within my jurisdiction. You'll need to go back to the committee board and see what they decide. I'll do that. Thanks again, Officer George. I really appreciate it. Don't let it go to waste, Mackenzie. Make the most of this opportunity, but do it the right way. Later that same evening. Ah, Mackenzie, you're back. Please, have a seat. We've had a chance to review your case, Mackenzie. It's clear that you made a mistake. But it seems you've also taken responsibility for your actions. Yes, ma'am. I understand the seriousness of what I did, and I am truly sorry. We appreciate your honesty, Mackenzie. It's not often we see students willing to own up to their mistakes. That being said, we can't ignore the implications of your actions. Trust is a crucial component of our school community. I completely understand, and I know that you probably just want me gone. After careful consideration, we have decided to allow you to remain enrolled in the Snapchat school. However, there will be conditions. 
conditions. Seriously? Oh my gosh, thank you. Uh, I'll do anything. Firstly, you'll be on probation for the remainder of the semester. Any further infractions will result in immediate expulsion. Of course, I understand. Secondly, you'll be required to participate in community service projects focused on promoting integrity and honesty. Yeah, of course. <sighs> Very well, Mackenzie. We hope this serves as a learning experience for you. Yes, ma'am. I promise I will not let you guys down. A few moments later. Well, well, well. Look who's finally facing the consequences of her actions. Got kicked out of school, didn't you, Mackenzie? Actually, Ashley, I'm still enrolled in the Snapchat school. What? How is that possible? I thought for sure they would kick you out after what you did. I made a mistake, Ashley, but I owned up to it, and I'm not going to let it define me. I'm still here, and I'm going to make things right. Well, good for you, but don't think for a second that I am going to let you off easy. I'll be watching you. And I wouldn't expect anything less from you, Ashley. Later that same evening. Oh, hey, girly. What's up? Whoa, looks like you got some big news. Sky, I just wanted to thank you for everything. If it wasn't for you pushing me to do the right thing, I don't know if I could have gone through with it. Girly, you didn't need me to tell you what was right. You've always known. I just helped remind you of it. Still, I couldn't have done it without you. You were there for me when I needed someone the most. Well, that's what friends are for, girly. I'll always have your back, no matter what. And I'll always have yours, Sky. Now, I need to go tell my parents that everything's okay. Okay, see you later, girly. A few moments later. Hey, Mom! talk to the committee board? Is everything gonna be okay? Yeah, mom, everything went really well. George gave me a warning, so I won't be facing any serious consequences. And the committee said I get to hit the school. Oh, honey, I am so proud of you. You did the right thing, even when it was difficult. That takes courage. Thanks, mom. And thanks for always being there for me. The next day. Hey, Ashley, can I talk to you? Oh, hey, Mackenzie. Listen, I know things have been pretty tense between us lately, but I think it would be better for both of us if we just tried to be civil. And why would I want to do that? Because as much as we might not like it, we're going to be seeing each other a lot around here. And it would just make things easier if we could at least be on speaking terms. Ugh, I guess you have a point. Fine, I'll play nice, but don't expect us to become besties or anything. Fair enough. Okay, how about this? I'll help you improve your acting skills, and in return, you give me some fashion tips. Deal? I guess I could use you to further my career. Of course. And who knows? Maybe we'll even have some fun working together. All right, Mackenzie. Don't get ahead of yourself now, but you've got yourself a deal. Just during school hours, though, I have a reputation to maintain. Deal. I'll see you around, Ash. A few moments later. Mackenzie Turner, is that you? Uh, excuse me? Yes? And who's asking? That doesn't matter. Well, can I help you? You can. Here, take this. Uh, what's this? You've been served. Served? But from who? The lady whose cat you allegedly stole. The details are all in there. But I thought I already accepted the consequences. I I didn't think... I understand, but appears there are still legal matters that need to be addressed. But I'm just a kid. I know this is difficult, Mackenzie, but you'll have the opportunity to defend yourself in court. In the meantime, I advise you to seek legal counsel. I never meant for any of this to happen. Regardless, you're being sued. I suggest you review the contents of that envelope carefully. The court date is tomorrow. But this changes everything. 